Hello, everyone. Welcome back to my channel. This is Natalie with Natalie's Closet. And um, I have a feeling this may be a rather slow night because several people are not going to be able to make it, but we'll see what happens. Um, but I think I'm going to request a couple of prayers for a couple of people. Um, well, Tammy Webb and Natalie are not going to be able to be here because they have prior commitments on Tuesday. Uh, Adele and Tracy will not be able to be here because they both are dealing with some things and some health things. And so if we can, if you guys wouldn't mind saying prayer for them, that would be awesome. Sweet Tea is not going to be able to be here. Her house is, her household is mourning right now. Um, sorry, I was looking for something that I had saved for tonight's live and now I can't find it. Uh, bear with me. But anyway, Sweet Tea's family is mourning because um, a pack of wild dogs um, killed her outside dog yesterday. And so everybody's really sad about that. So prayers for them as well. And I think that's everything. I mean, obviously prayers for everybody, but um, they are all dealing with something and won't be here tonight. Um, all right. Well, Denise said she's going to try to stay awake for the live. So we'll see if she'll be back. Hey, Leanne, she'll be back. What is it? I'll grab a coffee on my crochet project and see you back here. Okay. So Leanne will be back. Um, hey, Triple C and Joe, how are you guys? Welcome. Hey, Ryan, how are you? It's been a long time. I haven't seen you in a while. How are you doing? My hair is like doing something like really funky. It's been like this all day today since my shower this morning and it's driving me crazy. <laughs> Um, hey, Wanda, welcome. I don't know that this is, this is going to be a really long live tonight. I myself am still dealing with my hip, but I also have a massive toothache um, that I've been taking antibiotics for. It got better. And then yesterday, all of a sudden, last night, it got like so ridiculously bad. And it's kind of just been nagging all day today. But um, hey, Diane, welcome. How are you? Welcome back, Leanne. Hey, Donna, welcome. So, you know, I'm going to go over, there are three things I want to kind of go over. And then I was looking for the retro pictures that I wanted to go through, which honestly, I don't even know if I would be really technically allowed to show. Yeah, I should be able to. Damn, where is it? I had it ready on my phone and now it's, oh, I think I know why. All right, I'm going to have to find it a different way, but um, I'll find it, though. And just to kind of go over it, my mom was kind of wondering if we can include it in one of my videos. She's typically not up for my um, – or she normally ends up falling asleep during my lives. Um, so I don't know if she'll be part of it, but when she watches it on the replay, she'll be able to see it. So we'll see. We'll play that one by ear. Um Hey, Crazy Shepherd, welcome. How are you? Uh, so anyway, the couple of things I want to go over. First, I want to apologize for not having a video up yesterday. We had fence guys here that were working on the fence yesterday. My mom was at work, so and they kind of were back and forth knocking on the door or interrupting, and then plus them banging the fence. Uh, posts in because it was right on the other side of that wall it was really loud and I didn't want to have to keep interrupting my video so I was like I'll do it later but then my tooth started hurting again and I just couldn't even think so I was like oh I'm just not gonna be able to do my video so I do apologize for not having had a video up yesterday uh, but hopefully for the rest of the week tomorrow I'm actually gonna have two videos actually I have four things I want to go over um, tomorrow I'll have two videos. One will be Whip Wednesday. There's only one that I started new with the new um, Moltrum yarn. It hasn't gotten very far, but I did start it. Um, and I will be going over something I'm going to go over tonight, but in tomorrow's video so that I could get more responses to see if I'm going to go further with it. And then the second video is going to be the, the drawing winner for the Christmas in July fairies, which as a reminder, if you have not watched my Christmas in July fairies video, um, make sure to go, go watch it. And if you want to enter, if you are not a fit fellow fairy, um, make sure to go ahead and do that. 
because I will be doing the drawing at 9 a.m. Eastern tomorrow morning. And then the video will be up sometime before midnight. <laughs> That's the only thing I can commit to right now. It will be up tomorrow, but it'll be sometime before midnight. So that was the second thing I wanted to go over. Uh, I can't believe, I mean, it's already here. And then in 10 days, Dana will go ahead and do her drawing. And I cannot wait to see who the final winner is. As of what I have updated, and I've been trying to keep it updated, I think there's 160 or 161 fairies. So that grand prize winner is going to get a lot of presents, you know, small presents from 160, 61 people. That's nuts. So that's going to be really fun to see. Doing okay. How have you been? Okay. <laughs> thanks for asking. Um, but thanks, Donna. Um, so, okay, so that's two of the things that I wanted to cover. Third thing is she's on the floor. Um, I think she heard a firework. Yeah, they're still doing them. And I don't have, I can't have my TV on because I'm doing it live. And so there's nothing to kind of distract her from it. And I was in the bathroom getting ready. I was putting on my lipstick and then I thought I heard one. And just then she had jumped off the bed and went, uh, at the you know onto the floor at the foot of the bed so I think that's what it was she may stay quiet because of it I don't know we'll see um but uh hey everyone I missed um so so the third thing I wanted to go over hold on let me see if something's important here oh okay oh I'm sorry but yay. Um, okay, I guess Tammy will be here. She's not, she isn't feeling great right now, but she's going to come to the live. Um, hold on a second. Okay. Um, nothing too important. Just wanting to make sure it wasn't important. You all know I have to check my phone every so often. Hey, Tammy, welcome. So third thing I wanted to go over is, uh, what was the third, <laughs> wow, it just flew out of my head, what was the third thing, oh, right, I don't know if you guys remember um, me doing the unboxing, I think it was last Wednesday, may have been last Monday, I can't remember where, I opened um, the box from Scritzy, that was the hand, uh, the hand cream from the UK, England, I think, I think they're in England, but, um, well, they set up a coupon code for me um, for their Etsy shop. So I have the link in the description box below to their Etsy shop. And there's a coupon code also listed. And if you use it, you'll get 10% off your order. They do ship internationally, obviously. Um, there is shipping and, and there is a conversion Oh crap, I forgot to put that in the description box. She did say that there needs to be, the order needs to be a minimum of 10 pounds, which I don't know what the conversion is right now. I'll have to look it up in a second here. I'll, maybe I'll look it up now. Um, uh, I think she said it was 10 pounds in US dollars. Okay, that's about $12.58, if I'm not mistaken. So let's say $13 for the, for, to ship to the United States, um, in order to use the 10% coupon, the order needs to be at least 13, 13 us dollars. Um, well, actually I guess 10 pounds regardless. I don't know if she actually, I have to find out if for anybody in Europe, if there's also the minimum or if it's just to the U S that it needs to be a minimum of $13, but I will put that, I will include that in the description box below. But the coupon code is um, closet, C-L-O-S-E-T, the number one and zero. So closet 10, and that'll get you 10% off your order. For the U.S., it needs to be a minimum of a $13 purchase to use the coupon code. But that was the other thing I wanted to come up with because we were just talking about that today. And she's like, do you want, you know, we'd love to be able to give you the coupon code. Because I asked about that when I first contacted them. And at the time, they didn't have anything. And she's like, we're really new to Etsy, but I'll talk to my husband. And so they went ahead and I guess they figured it out and decided to go ahead and, and do it. So if you want to try them out, feel free. Like I said, the link to her, their Etsy shop is in the description box below. To the US, thirteen a minimum of $13 order, um, but you get a 10% discount. Uh, and, I, and then their shipping is not ridiculous either. Uh, 
Hey, you PNN brat. <laughs> Vet gave Bear pills for his stress and allergies. Oh, poor guy. Yeah, I know. I, I, I didn't actually get to watch the video today, but I saw it come up. But I will watch it later. I hope he feels better soon. Uh, if she is stressed out, I don't think seeing <laughs> it won't get her started. But I, I still actually it could. Well, no, but she hadn't heard it yet. But I was watching. Whose video was I watching? I was watching somebody's video and they said T-R-E-A-T-S and her ear, her one ear just kind of like turned. So she heard it. But um, right now she's stressed. So it may not affect her, but I'm still not going to try to mess with her if I don't have to. Um, either Crazy Shepherd, I vote with you. You vote with him what? Hello from. Um, hey. Hey, Katie, how are you? Welcome. Hello from coming. You're too funny. As you all know, that's Katie from Naughty Knitting Sacks has, has um, joined us here. You all know I love her bags, um, and you guys have seen all of them. You know I talk about her all the time. I also have a coupon code for her, which is Naked15, right? Can't believe I forgot. There she is. Um, and there is a link to Naughty Knitting Sacks in the uh, description box below, as well as the coupon code there for her shop, too. Uh, let's see. Hello, hello. Um, okay, so everybody's still saying hello. So that was number three that I wanted to talk about. No, dude. What, what really? You're going to start up? You just got up here, and you're already going to start. I don't have anything. I actually don't have anything with me. Sorry. I didn't, I didn't bring anything for you. I am going to give you something so you can just relax in a minute, but it's going to be on your bed. Okay. Can you give me a minute? Hmm? Um, yes. Naked 15. <laughs> I was right. <laughs> Bear doesn't care if he hears on the TV. Yeah. She typically doesn't, but she, she, she reacted then. So that was interesting, but he looks at me if I say it. Yeah. Oh yeah. She will too. My two doggies react to snack or is it dinner time but not to. Yeah. She doesn't, she doesn't react to snack. I, cause I don't think I ever use that. And is it dinner time? She, she free feeds and she only eats at night. She eats about lately. It's been about two and a half cups, maybe three cups a day, but she eats it typically at night. She doesn't like eating in the morning. She gets a half an egg in the morning, half of a hard boiled egg in the morning. And she gets a piece of turkey um, at dinner time. You see her tongue just hanging out? Oh, well, now she has her mouth open, but her mouth was closed with her tongue hanging out. Uh, naked 15, perfect. That now, isn't it? <laughs> she knew me before Before we, be, she knew it already before we even, I mean, we had talked about it, but she came up with the name or with the code. I was like, that's perfect. She's like, see, I watch. I pay attention. <laughs> um, I hear fireworks outside now. Ugh, that sucks. I really, 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 really hope tonight will be one of the nights that it's quieter because otherwise. <laughs> no. Man, my neck, there's like a kink in my neck. I just turned it and it kind of hurt. Um, but anyway. The fourth or fifth thing I wanted to go over before we possibly go into the retro thing is some of you here now will remember this from before my mom's surgery, but others are new and may not have ever gone back to those videos. But when I used to do my regular scheduled videos before ever having even started lives, I had started doing a subscriber of the week. Now it's... No, it was when I was in my living room and I had the screen behind me and I had the screen decorated during different holidays. I would have the screen decorated. Now, I'm not I want to bring back the subscriber of the week. However, I will not be redecorating the screen because I was contacted when all the laws were starting to change. And I was told that if I kept that up, my channel would be considered child friendly or kid friendly and everything would change like no comments or whatever. And, and if they caught me with out saying that I was kid friendly, then I would get fined. Da, 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 what, and I was like, okay, forget it. I'm taking down the decorations. It's not worth it to me. Not that I'm not kid friendly, but I'm not kid friendly either. My my content is for adults. Um, 
So I'm having to think up of a different way to do the subscriber of the week. And the way I used to do it is one of the three videos, something changed on my screen. Like I added a feather, I changed a pumpkin or I changed a spider or whatever the case was. And people had to pay attention. And then on Friday, they would have to let me know in the comment section of that video what day and what specific thing changed. And then I would do a, draw, or a drawing with a YouTube random comment picker. And I would pick a person. And as long as their comment answer, or answered correctly, then they were the subscriber of the week. At the time, I was sending out a stitch marker that I made as the gift however things have changed also with shipping and because i use crystals and stuff i i wrap it lightly in bubble wrap and it now turns the card into a package because of the bump in there it's not like just putting a tea bag in there and when i tried to do it without bubble wrap i got it returned the envelope was ripped and the stitch marker was broken so to do that four or five times a month, it gets expensive because it's like four, five, six, seven dollars for a card, basically, because it's no longer just a stamp or an extra stamp. It's actually postage. So my question to you is this. I do want to bring back subscriber of the week and I will think of the details and I already have a plan in place if I do it again. But wait, let me catch up. At Naughty Knitting Sacks, we lived in Cumming, Georgia years ago in the polo fields. That was a long time ago, though. How cool. That is almost next door. Oh, awesome. Uh, hey, HD, welcome. Not any knitting sex. Well, that's too cool. Mom watched all your videos. I know she did. That's amazing. You have to tell her thank you. I mean, I kept thanking her every time she commented, but thank her again. Hi, Mom. Um, so I, I do want to bring it back. Hey, Linda, welcome. Sorry, I missed you. I do want to bring it back, but my question to you is this. Since I'm not going to end up doing a stitch marker, and in order to keep the postage down, it would have to be something very thin. So would you even be interested in me bringing back subscriber of the week? Because that's my way of picking somebody once a week to say thank you to for your support and for paying attention and watching my videos. But what I would have to end up doing is maybe just a sheet of stickers, which you all know I'm into bling and, and like cutesy. So it wouldn't be boring, but it would maybe be a sheet of stickers or something like that. Is that something that you guys would even be interested in receiving from me as a thank you as the subscriber of the week if you were drawn? Should I bring it back? Should I not? You can answer in here, but I would rather if you can come back when it goes to replay and answer in the comment section below this video. I'm also going to mention it in tomorrow's video so I can get responses. And then on Friday, if I choose to do it based on responses, I will announce how it's going to go and what the prize would be. So let me know. Just keep it in the back of your mind. Let me know in the comment section below when this goes to replay. You can let me know in here and I'll, I'll gauge your responses as well there. But for anybody watching this on the replay, make sure to comment in the comment section. Um, let's see. Hi, HD, HD, Larissa. Hey, how are you? Hello, Larissa Hawaii, AK Natalie's mom. Hi, Larissa. Hi, Donna. Hi, Tammy. Mom said, yes, bring it back. <laughs> okay. <clears throat> um, okay, so we have so far one yes. But like I said, it's just my way of being able to pick one person a week as a subscriber of the week. And it's a way for me to say thank you to you guys. But in order to keep the costs down so I can actually do it, it would have to be It'd have to be a sheet of stickers or maybe once I get some um, um, closet swag or, you know, my own stickers or postcard or something. That's what it will be right now until I can maybe figure something else out. But just let me know if you would be interested in me bringing it back. Um, is it? Charlie, is that how you pronounce your name? Welcome. I hope I pronounced it correctly. Uh, okay, so everybody's really quiet today. I said it was probably going to be quiet because we have several people that aren't here. Um, but uh, do you guys want to do a retro thing? Like I said, it's a bunch of it's a bunch of pictures. Like some are like advertisements, and other things is like maybe a game, and 
a product like back in the day we could say yeah we remember it we don't remember it we used to use it we didn't used to use it or whatever the case is i thought it'd be a little fun and i know you know a lot of we we whatever i did retro night which typically was i'd get some candies and stuff from the candy kitchen on the beach and then we would talk about the candies i picked and if we remember them from back in the day except the we had there are three candy kitchens along the beach but my favorite one closed really I was so sad. My mom and I were passing by on the beach and I was like, wait a minute. That's where the candy kitchen was. What happened? Because we were going to stop for an ice cream. <laughs> um, but they were closed. And I was like, oh, my gosh, that makes me so sad because they had the most stuff and they had the most interesting stuff. Mm. But um, we always have fun when we talk retro. But um, I couldn't ever pick. Oh, hey, Bridget. Welcome. I couldn't ever pick out the difference when you did that before. My memory is so bad. If you're going to do it that way again, I'll just stay out of it. See, I had a lot of people that really liked it because they actually, it was like a scavenger, well, not really a scavenger hunt, but they went to go, they went back to go and check things or, you know, they, they took a screenshot. Okay, I'm giving away ways to make it easier. Um, but it would be something similar to that. It's just not something that's going to be decorated on my screen. It's going to be, yeah. Um, I got to go. Mom's going to the store early. Have a great night, everyone. Bye. Thanks for stopping by. I appreciate it. Hi to Bear. Hugs to him. And thanks to your mom again. Hi, Donna. Hello, everyone. Night, Crazy Shepherd. Hey, Bridget. Hey, Bridget. Hi, sweet Bridget. Okay. So, anyway, just think about it and let me know. Um, excuse me. The next time she gets a little antsy, I'll go ahead and give her a B-O-N-E. <laughs> yes, bring it back. Even if you just send a note or card to say hi, it would be good. Uh, thanks, Wanda. Yes, yep, giving away your cheater secret. <laughs> it wasn't my secret. Well, not my secrets. Actually, somebody came came to me and they said, well, this is this is it. Because every, every week they got it right. Because I, I read all the comments, right? but only one person can win. And every week the person got it right. And I was like, wow, you're really good. And they told me how they did it. And I was like, well, that's actually smart. Um, but yeah, that, that was actually a dead giveaway on how to, how to tell, but, um, okay. Bridget, how are you doing? Very blessed Bridget. How are you? I'm really hot right now though. I'm happy. She's being quiet though. Look at my hair. I swear, this has been like something really weird. I've never had my hair do this. And it did it today, earlier today. I got out of the shower, I air dried it, and I put it up. And I'm like, really? I look so not, it just, and I need to get it done again because my roots are like that long. But anyway, so you want to do retro, you want to look at, um, picture and then we could decide if it's something we I actually don't even remember this this was like really back in the day this is something I think my mom would remember <laughs> sorry mom um I don't even know if she's still here I think she only said that one I think she only said something once and then disappeared she may have fallen asleep man what the heck it just closed out on its own that makes me mad Ugh. Hold on a second. Got to find it again. I don't even know what happened. There we go. Let's see if it opens again and stays open. All right. I guess we'll see what happens here. Good, Bridget. How are you, sweetie? Happy the sun has gone down enough where we can't work anymore outside. It's been a long, hot day. Oh, I bet. it's It's been hot here, too. It's so ridiculous. If I don't get a haircut, I'm going to turn into Maggie's sister. <laughs> Tammy, you're too funny. Been working on cleaning land all evening, so I'm beat. Oh, my goodness. See, I wouldn't even be able to do it, but you vote retro? Okay, Tammy. Mm -hmm. Finally, fin mm -hmm. hey Judy, welcome. Finally finished watching all the Christmas and July fairies today. Since tomorrow is the first drawing, if you haven't watched them all, you only have a few more hours. Yes, you do. A bunch of people are doing it at different times. I'm doing it 9 a.m. Eastern tomorrow. Some people are doing it right at midnight tonight, going into tomorrow. Some people are doing it tomorrow evening. So you just kind of got to figure it out on them. But um, 
Hi, Bridget. It's chilly here in Australia. Well, for us, it is middle of our winter and it's 19 degrees, but the sun is shining and the skies are blue. How's your craft room coming along? Oh, 19 degrees. That would be nice. That would be nice. It's been today, I think it was like 97 with a heat index of like 100 and 100 and I think five or 107 or something like that. I don't know. Last week we had a heat index of 112 craziness. Um, yeah, thank you. She's part of my lives. The craft room looks wonderful. Only one room in the house left to do. Oh, wow. That's awesome. I bet you can't wait for that either. Oh, my Papa's on pillow is off. I just noticed it. It's, it's too low. Oh, well. Too bad. <laughs> and yes, I know that that's still there, but is what it is. Oh my goodness, my painting is crooked too. How did that happen? I fixed it before I came on. I don't know. Anyway, okay, so retro. We'll go retro. So who remembers? Who remembers this? Photo mat one day. Photo service. Kodak film is what it says on the other side. Does anybody remember that? Sorry, I'm trying to cover up the name that's on here. Yes, Miley, I hear you. I'll work on it. Um, look, Pian and Brat, Miley needs. <laughs> I did it, Miley. You remember that, Tammy? I got my futon yesterday so my son can finally be enjoyed. Oh, awesome. Oh, my God, I'm getting old. Me. Yep, I do. <laughs> no, ma'am. No, ma'am. She heard you, Aunt Tammy. You're not old. Whatever. In parking lots. Really? I don't remember that. Sorry. Okay. She's going to get something because otherwise she's not going to leave me alone during retro. So give me a second, guys. Oh, my gosh. I can't do this. Finally. Give me a second. Oh, my gosh. Right, I'll be right back. Don't go anywhere. Talk about the film thing. Oh, Okay, I only have one more little one after this, so let me know. This is a little one, so whenever she's done, we're done. Hold on, I gotta wash my hands. Ah, ah. Sorry, guys. <sighs> hurts to walk. Ow. I feel like I'm 100. <sighs> okay, I do in the parking lot. Miley, slow down. She's backing me. I'm no kidding. Hi, Miley. <laughs> Hello, everyone in the chat that I missed. Hey, Triple C and Joe. So would I be considered retro? <laughs> Woohoo, it worked, Miley. Air, <laughs> Air 5 from Miley. We call them Photo Hut in Canada. Oh, cool. I am definitely retro Wanda. All right. This is looks like an advertisement for, on a can. I don't know. Actually, it doesn't. I don't know. But who remembers Chef Boyardee complete pizza with cheese and what does it say? An Italian pizza sauce. Oops. So who remembers that? Hey, Diana, welcome. How are you? We're doing retro right now. Oh, I am antique. Tammy, whatever. You are not antique. Um, me, how do you go? Do you go? Okay, so, so far, Tammy's the only one that remembers this. I do not remember the complete pizza. Sure do. It was awful. Was it, Judy? I don't remember this. I love Chef Bro Well, I don't. I used to love the ABCs and stuff, but I don't remember the complete pizza with cheese and Italian pizza sauce. Oh, my God. I have to quit. I'm telling my old age. <laughs> Tammy, a bunch of people are telling it, so don't worry about it. All right. I do remember this, although I don't remember. I must have had one. But who remembers this game? I think I had one, but I can't remember for sure. 
I remember it was a boxed kit, had dough and can with sauce and powdered cheese. Hmm, interesting. Hey, Barbara, welcome. You snuck in. Oh, yes, used to think was good. Donna, well, you're probably about 30 years younger than me. <laughs> yeah, this I remember. I do remember this. Do you want to... Sorry, videos, video notifications keep popping up. Except the thing is, they don't pop up for, like, people I, I like... I'll get like some random ones that I didn't even know, realize I was following. And yet the ones that, like people that I watch regularly, I don't get notifications for. I'm like, you know, so frustrating. Okay. So people remember this. Yes. Hell you hated it. Linda I had one with letters too. I don't remember the letters. I remember the numbers. Those were fun. I had all kinds, numbers, words, etc. Um, I'm 29 with 20 years experience. <laughs> <laughs> that's funny this I had I remember using I, re I remember either my grandmother or my mother using this for me Mr. Bubble I remember that box who remembers this if I remember it you guys remember it okay I didn't mean it that way you all know I didn't mean it that way but I remember that pizza and the number game who remembers the bubbles Mr. Bubble I remember it <laughs> I remember it Hey, Margie, if I missed you, I'm sorry. Welcome. Yeah, I love Mr. Bubbles. Okay, well, I totally remember this. Pledge of Allegiance. Maybe I can catch the replay buffering horribly. Okay, Sandra, thanks for stopping by. I do appreciate it. Oh, my God, them I remember. Yes, oh, the liquid kills roaches. <laughs> All right, now this I don't remember. I was reading the comments. Oh, you know what? Maybe I do. Me. Who remembers these and what they are? Wait, 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 what? Hi, and hi, everyone. Hey, Margie took bath on porch so we could have as many as we wanted. Oh, that's cool, Barbara. Um, I remember doing that too every day in school. Yep, none of these so far have made it to Australia. Seriously? Pledge of Allegiance in English and Spanish. Oh, cool. Every morning at school. Hello. Nope. We had to sing the Canadian anthem every morning. Yeah, we sing the um, anthem also. Eraser and brush. Yes. Eraser, eraser and brush. Typewriter erasers. Erasers. Me erasers and a brush to brush it away. Oh, yes. Yeah. See, I don't remember if I had them, but reading the comments, I knew what they were. Okay. Who remembers this? I will gladly pay you Tuesday for a hamburger today. Eraser with the brush to get rid of dust. Yes, use those erasers. Who remembers this one? I do, Popeye. <laughs> All right. Wimpy. <laughs> hey, Grim Reaper Country, how are you? All right, I love that cartoon, great cartoon, wimpy. <laughs> All right, who remembers these? I remember, I, I mean, I know them, I think they're still around today, but this particular advertisement or packaging for them. <laughs> Popeye the Sailor Man, toot toot, yep, exactly. Who remembers that? Okay, everybody got quiet all of a sudden. I'm working with a new color yarn. Oh, cool. Yeah, I love chiclets, too. Do you remember that particular um, packaging, though? I do small gum. Yes, I remember the minis. Chiclets were good. Yes, chiclets. Yes, chiclets. And the tiny ones. I, I don't remember if I remember the tiny ones. Okay, I kind of sort of remember the character, the big guy in the back. But who remembers? My grandparents kept them in the car always. They never melted. <laughs> that says a lot. <laughs> Had the regular ones and tiny ones. I kind of remember the, guy, the, the, the character in the back. But who remembers this? Yes, Puff and Stuff. It's called Party Time Puff the Magic Dragon. Yep, Puff and Stuff. You remember where I remember, you know where I remember Puff and stuff? 
who watches George Lopez or who watched George Lopez? Remember he had his first birthday party. Was it his first birthday party for him? And Puff and Stuff was there and he was dancing. So funny. All right. I remember. Yes. HR Puff and Stuff with Jimmy and Witchy Poo. <laughs> cool. Next. Me, yes, I saw that episode. Wasn't it? I love that episode. That was so funny. Who remembers? Okay, it's not comfortable for me to sit this way, but I have to do it this way because I have to cover the name. You can't see? Is that better? Old maid? Wow. Yeah, it looks like they're the playing cards. It's hard to see. Wow, that did not clear that up at all. Milkman Mo, Old Maid, Freddy, something, Ballet Betty. The words are really blurry, so it's hard for me to read it. Okay, what about this one? Yeah, that was Old Maid. Played with my twin brother funny when he was old maid. <laughs> that would have been. I'm not covering up answers or anything. I'm just covering up the names of people that are on here. Played with my twin. Oh, wait. Caught you live. Hello from Cary, Mississippi. Hey, Susan. Welcome. How are you? Old maid was a card game. Yes. Elsie. Daisy Milk. Elsie the cow. Yep. Oh, what you see Elsie on there, but... Wait, somebody just messaged me. I need to make sure it's not my mom. Nope. Okie dokie. Let's see. What is next? I don't know. I, something makes me think I remember this, but not sure. <laughs> There's commitment, right? Borden's Elsie the cow. I remember Elsie. What about this one? I don't know why. I... I, I don't know that I actually remember this. Anybody? Buster Brown. Oh, okay. What about the little sidekick? Who's that? Oh, gosh, that's hurting my arm. Buster Brown and... Huh? Huh? Buster Brown. Oh, okay. No clue on this one. Buster Brown shoes. Okay. Maybe that's why it looks familiar. Ow. Ow. Oh, well, we all know this because it's still around, but this is the original thing. Dog. Is it Teague? Tiggy? I'm hot. Now, nobody can say they don't remember this because we have it now, and this is just the original packaging. As my grandmother used to say, Kentucky Frucky. <laughs> Kentucky Frucky. Yep, original kernel. I don't, I remember. I remember the the profile, but huh? Colonel Sanders, yum yeah, KFC. I live in Kentucky, so yes. <laughs> Colonel Sanders, KFC. Yes, the Colonel. Oh, I'll go to one. All right. Anybody? Anybody? Either nobody or nobody's seen looking at it. When our oldest was little, he couldn't say it, and it came out, fuck you, fried chicken. Oops. I shouldn't have said that. Holly Hobby. Why do I? It looks, she looks familiar, but what was it? What was she about? Holly Hobby, Holly Hobby, Holly Hobby. Sun Bonnet Sue. Sherry, did I say hi to you? If not, hi, Sherry. I used to make her, but don't know her name. I'm now getting a few. Yeah, Polly Hobby. For some reason, she looks familiar, but I don't remember why. 
All right. Okay, wanted to make sure this was still part of it. Um, I remember these. Wait, hold on. Bonnet Girl Handmade Baby Quilts with that pattern. She was a doll. Okay, I think I had her. I think I had her. All right, what is this? You all have to know this. If I know it, you know it. Hey, Barb, welcome. How are you? I did get it right this time, right? <laughs> hey, Mary, welcome. If I didn't say hi to you before, I think I missed you. Yes, a library card. I loved my library cards. I love to see who else took it out, if I could read the handwriting, if I could see what the name was. Yep, library card, or the checkout card that used to be in the book. Yep, library slip. Yeah, that's it, library slip. Hi, Barb, hi, Marge. Um, ow, okay, I got to sit up for a second. Library checkout card, library card went, in, went into the pocket in the book. Yep, that's it. Um, I had twisted. Oh, Tammy, hi, when did you get here? I missed you. Oh, you even said library card up there. Hi, Tammy. Library card checkout, I love the library. Hey, Tammy, I used to love the library. I haven't been to the library in like forever and a day. I remember this because my grandmother had one. We have one, but it's a new version, obviously. But my grandmother, I think, had this one or very similar to this one. Yeah, you did sneak in. So what you guys have to, it's a for, well, <laughs> what it is. You have your own library? Yeah, Miley is going to town on her. Yes, she is. She better, she better save her because I only have one more little one. Yep, electric fry pan. Yep, electric skillet, electric pan, electric skillet. Yep, we used to make our, oh, God, sorry. I have to unkink for a second. Yes, my mom had an electric fryer, electric skillet. I can make a cake in it. You can make a cake in it? Wow, that's awesome. Electric skillet. I have two electric fry pan. Yeah, we used to make our fish for Christmas Eve because Chris, our Christmas Eve is um, January 6th, and it's all meatless. It's 12 dishes and all meatless, and we used to make our fish in this. I remember exactly where I used to sit when I was in charge of it at the table in the kitchen at my grandma's house in Toronto. Time memories. Oh, well. Uh, who doesn't remember these? And one of our friends, Tammy, you know who I'm talking about, Tammy Twisted Stitches, you know who I'm talking about, just made a bag with these. Wait a minute, went away. Hold on, there we go. Hello. Boy, I'm really old. You are not, whatever. Oh no, double trouble, two Tammies in the chat. <laughs> I Twisted Stitches, we celebrate old Christmas on the 6th. Oh, how cool. Well, Christmas, it's actually Christmas Eve on the 6th for us, but, um, that's awesome, Wanda. Ow, and me too, Tammy, remember it all. Viewfinder. Exactly. Slides, viewfinders. These were the viewfinders. Catherine Noel um, made a bag recently. I wonder if she had it on her, I think, last podcast. Maybe it was the one before that. I don't remember. She made a bag with colorful viewfinders. Ow. Slide cards from viewfinder. Yep. <sighs> Uh, the only thing is, is the way this comes, I don't, I don't do it with this flavor of stuff. You'll see what I'm talking about. I do it with a different flavor, but love it, love it, love it. That bag is awesome, isn't it? View master, hey, Twisted Stitches from One Twisted Sisters. Hey, Susan. Well, wait, I did say hi to you. <laughs> Sorry, I'm forgetting who I'm saying hello to. Uh, all right. A and W root beer floats. See, I don't do root beer, but I do do Coke with root. I normally drink Diet Coke, but when it comes to a float, Coke all the way, baby. But what my dad and I used to do, actually all of my siblings, I think we all did it. Hey, Teresa, welcome. I don't think I said hi to you yet. What we would do is um, we would take a bowl of vanilla ice cream. And we'd either do orange juice or we'd do Coke. Um, ow. And we would take a bowl, we'd fill it with vanilla ice cream, and we'd pour Coke on top. 
like slowly and it would ice over the vanilla ice cream or we do it with orange juice. We'll still do it with orange juice. Yum. That's how we did our floats. It was ice cream with a little soda, not soda with a little ice cream. <laughs> nope. Just got here. Oh, okay. Cool. Teresa. Uh, my husband likes black cows root beer float with chocolate. Black cows root beer float with chocolate ice cream. Hmm. Interesting. I just, I'm not into root beer for some reason. Love me some root beer float. Yum. Yes. I used to drink milk and Pepsi like Laverne. Yes. Well, not milk, but yes. <laughs> Vanilla ice cream. Close enough. Hey, Teresa and Judy, try orange sherbet and Mountain Dew. Huh. Orange sherbet and Mountain Dew. That's interesting. I miss root beer floats. Uh, hey, and W still here in Canada. Hello, Tammy. Hi, Tammy. All right. So let's see what's next. I remember them. I think from pictures I never had. Well, okay. My mom's still around. Isn't she slush floats are great. Yes, they are. A&W still in Indiana too. Hi, Bridget. I think my mom's still around. Pepsi is really good with ice cream too. Yes, it is. I always just did Coke, but my auntie took me into Manchester to have a Coke float. It was a treat. Yeah. Oh, you want to talk about treat? It's ice cream, no soda. But my dad used to live in Michigan, and well, his wife and and three of my siblings still do. But we used to go to this farm. This was a treat. I can't remember where. I think it was also in Michigan. But we used to go to this farm, and we would go and we pet the cows and feed the cows and everything. And then we'd go get ice cream before we left. Let me tell you something. One freaking scoop of ice cream. One freaking scoop. Uh, one, I kid you not, it was like the scoop was like this big. You got three of them. I mean, it, it was huge on a cone. Holy crap. But, oh, my God, the best ice cream in the world. And let me tell you, well, my dad always got at least three scoops. But the scoops were like insanely big. But so good. Oh, the ice cream was so delicious. Made fresh on the farm. Yum. Um, let's see my, oh, okay. I already read, wait, everybody stop talking. Barb, I did get it right, right? Did I please tell me I did? Cause I tr was trying to remember, like actively remember. All right. So ne this is next. I did have a story with something like this, but I don't know if my mom's still around. Naughty knitting sex. Next time you go to varsity, could you eat some for me? Never thought my crew would crave varsity. <laughs> Still here. Okay, Mary. Yes, yeah, she's Barb. Thank you. Well, because I used to call her Helga, and she said, can you please call me Barb? And I was like, oops. She, But she was the one that told me Helga. So I felt bad, so I wanted to make sure I got it right. Yes, go, go boots. My, ma my mom still has hers. Go, go there. These boots are made for walking. Exactly. Oh, my God, I had white and black. Yeah, I think my mom had white and black, possibly. I have to show you some pictures of her when she was younger and some of the, some that she would be wearing these. But I had a few friends that we used to – we we were all around the country. We were in a, a different type of group at the time. But um, – we met up for girls not, girls weekends a couple times, and this weekend, this particular weekend, we were in um, Cleveland. Was it Cleveland? I think so. We went to a, a piano bar, and before we went, we were all like, "Oh my god, my mom had them in silver." Be right back, okay, Diana? I've never seen go go boots before. Really? We all wanted to get dressed up. Um, let's just say. The naughty naked hooker would go well with the way we were trying. We were dressing up. Okay, not like totally like hookers, but we called these boots something different. And we all got a pair of boots like with spiked heels, and we got like this really gaudy jewelry and stuff. And yeah, it was it was just fun. So was, we were all married, but it was just fun to go out and just yeah. Anyway, um, I'm not gonna name what we called our boots though. I probably get a strike on here. Um, I crave varsity chili dogs and onion rings when I was pregnant with my second child. Varsity chili. Why does that sound familiar? I don't know why that sounds familiar. Seriously, Wanda. Really? You got it. Wanda got it. <laughs> and we kept calling them CFMs too. 
That is too hysterical. That's awesome. Love it. That was 44 years ago, Tammy. LOL. Donna, we haven't had it in so long. Wanda, that just cracks me up. That so cracks me up. And thank you. Why couldn't I think of the acronym? Really? I mean, you know what I mean. CFM is not that difficult to remember, right? Yeah, exactly, Mary. Um, we haven't had it in so long. But yeah, we all got, I think we all got them in black and they were knee high. And I, I was surprised I was able to find because my calves are, I have, well, they're not as muscular now, but I used to have very muscular legs. I have, believe it or not, I have a higher um, muscle mass ratio to fat. Even today, I think I still do. I used to dance for years and, and uh, you would never know it if you actually saw me, but. I ha I found some that were loose enough. Well, they were kind of tight. Okay, they were really tight. But loose enough that I wasn't losing my circulation. And I think the heels were like, I don't know, maybe that, that, yeah. It was a fun night. Let's just say that. We wore them with mini skirts. Okay, yeah, I didn't go in mini skirts. What did I wear? I think I wore a pair of, it wasn't capris. I wouldn't wear capris with uh, knee-high uh, boots, but. Maybe we did wear skirts. I can't remember exactly what clothes it was that we wore with it, but the jewelry that we were wearing, I mean, everything. We just kind of went, we went crazy. All right, what's this? Okay. The wording is like really blurry. I can't make it out totally, but the picture probably means more to you guys than does to me. <laughs> nah, pants, yeah. Okay, who can tell me what this is? Because I don't know. Mini are the better. Yeah, I was never, I was never built well for mini skirts. But, um, well, I guess I was at one point. But I didn't really need. Okay, is that what it says? I think it's. I thought it said portfolio at the bottom, but. Um, yeah, but can you tell from the picture? That's what I was hoping you guys could tell. I can't read it either. Peachy folder. I don't know. It looks like peachy, but oh my gosh, I can't sit like that too long. But what is it for? Is it like an advertisement? Because I mean, it's got tennis, football, and track on here. At least that's what... I don't know. Yeah, I don't know that one. Wow, this one stumped everyone. I'm hot. All right, well, this one stumped everyone. Holding school papers, etc. Oh, it's a folder. Was it a cover for your textbooks? No idea. Okay, so Sherry said it's a folder, peachy folder. So Peachy was like the brand of folder it was? I don't know. All right. <laughs> I have a feeling a bunch of you guys are going to know this one. I don't remember it from me personally, but dippity do. Who remembers this one? Can you guys see it? From my, from my vantage point, you guys can see it, but... Judy remembers. I remember. Yep, yeah, made your hair stiff. Did they do? Yes. Ow. Oh, wow, wow. Sorry, got to unkink. Open it up, and it had pockets on each side of here. Okay, so a regular folder. But was that like a an advertisement? The the actual peachy was that. I, I get the folder, but um, styling gel. No, but I can guess the styling gel. <laughs> oh, yes, used it a lot. Oh, cool. Jelly hair stuff, something like butch wax. Oh, my God. Oh, I'm back. Welcome back, Diana. The peachy folder was 1943. Okay, got it. Okay, Margie, take the curlers out and the curl didn't move. Wow. Okay, <laughs> got it, Barbara. Thanks. 
Oh my gosh, I remember this. Oh, I loved it. Loved it, loved it, loved it, loved it, loved it. Waterfall, what does it say? Waterfall ring toss. I had one and I loved it. My mom put that in my hair with sponge rollers and I loved the way it smelled. Oh, cool. That and Aquanet hairspray. I remember Aquanet. Who remembers this guy? I do. I do, I do. Yes, definitely so much fun. I had one of those play for hours. Exactly. Had big one and mini ones. Think about this. This is what entertained us for hours. Today, could you imagine kids playing with this? I don't think so. Had big one and mini ones. We didn't have one of those games, but I remember seeing them. I had one of those two. I had one too. I remember my Alfie. I used to love Alfie. Okay, I don't remember these specifically, but... It was a dollar, and this looks like it was back in the day, so a dollar is a lot. Who remembers those? Can still get at Dollar Tree. Oh, really? Cool. Oh, yeah, water game so fun. The Prilly Tour now devices. <laughs> I know, exactly. Who remembers these guys? I loved it. I used to get them all wrong. Me too. Yeah, I know hair ties, but who remembers that? Do you remember these specifically? I do and hated them. Why? I do. I hated the feel of those. Why? Rough? Oh, my gosh. My granddaughters play with them. I had them. Teresa, did I say hi to you? Yes, I did. I think I did. Didn't I? I don't know. Oh, I remember this. Oh, I thought I remember this. I had those hair ties. Peachy is the brand name. This was a later version. Pictures could include cheerleaders and other high school kids. Oh, okay, cool. They were not soft because my mom put them in my hair. Oh. <laughs> yep, you did. Okay, cool. They look like my ends. I now snip off after weaving in my hands. Yeah, totally, Leanne. My sisters used to put my hair in ponytails. I had I had hair bands like that. Cool. All right. I can't do it from that direction. So hopefully I'll cover the name enough here. This I so remember. I used to love these. Love them. Love them. Love them. Who remembers what this is? Okay. Trying to cover the name. Same here. Crooked. Dude, you guys got to remember. Yep, mood ring. I loved mood rings. I loved, 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 loved playing with mood rings. I'd always get the same freaking color, though. Love it. Love it, love it, love it, love it. So much fun with mood rings. Oh, this. Almost the P.A. that does the stomps, but there are people, there are kids these days that have no idea what this is or how to use it, what the purpose is, nothing. I remember these because we, uh, we had them when I was a kid. We had one exactly like this. I think it was black, though, in my grandmother's house, which was downstairs. It was a two-story building in Chicago. My grandmother was on the first floor. We were on the second floor. But I think my grandmother had one of these on the wall. It was black. Um... I always got the same color. Me too, Katie. I always got blue. I used to get blue and then sometimes black. I used to try to get real mad to change it. <laughs> I know. I would try to do something too to change it. Yeah, deep. I would get deep dark blue. Yeah. And then black. Now, I know everybody in here has had one of these. I know it. Because if I had it when I was young, you all had them too. Again, I don't mean anything by that. You all know that. You know I love you. Everybody went silent. I grew up in Lansing, Illinois, just south of Chicago. Oh, cool. Yeah, I, I was born and raised in Chicago. I'm second-generation American. Born and raised in Chicago, like in Chicago. We were like five miles west of the Loop in the Ukrainian village. Okay, really? No, no, nobody saying you remember or you had or whatever? Wall phone. When I was little, we had a party line. <laughs> yeah. Wow. Dial phone. Rotary phone. Wall phone. Oh, my grandma had one. 
Rotary phone. When we got our first push button phone, we had so much fun doing. <laughs> I know, really. I know, right? Um, hey, Lori, did I say hi to you or did you sneak in? Welcome if I didn't. Yes, and had a party line. Yep, yep. I had a pink princess phone. I thought it was. <laughs> I know, Tammy. Well, phone with party line. I always check to see if someone was on exactly. We never did that. It was a little before my time. Party lines were awful. No kidding. Yep, my phone in New Jersey. I have a dark, I have a desk rotary phone. Oh, cool. I know you said wall phone. I think I read that you said wall phone. But um, yeah, my, my, my grandmother's was exactly like this. It was black. Ours wasn't on the wall. It, it sat, you know, like it, it sat on the desk. But it was a rotary phone. That was so much fun. Do the numbers and then, oh, you messed up. So then you have to hang up and do it all over again. Crazy. Rotary dial. We had eights and nines in my phone number. <laughs> fun. I could play Mary had a little lamb on the push button. <laughs> Too funny, Mary. Time for a hot bath. Good night. Good night, Bridget. Thanks so much for stopping by. I appreciate it. Have a great night. Sweet dreams. Rest up. You had a hard day today. Love, hugs, and prayers to you, my friend. Okay, my beautiful Yarny peeps, I have to go. Thanks for the fun and nostalgic memories. Bye, Wanda. Thanks so much for stopping by again. I appreciate the support. Love, hugs, and prayers to you. Good night. Sweet dreams. And we got this huge cord, and it would get all tangled up, and you had to stand on the chair. To <laughs> I know, and you had to unravel it, and it would just sit there and spin. Um, yes, wall phone. It was cool, and we got the longest extension curly cord possible to get away from your parents to chat in private, I know. Oh, my gosh. When I used to be in high school, I wanted to have a private conversation, but in my old room in our house, my mom's closet, the, the, it, you could go from my room to her room with two sliding doors. My closet had a sliding door, and it had a wall. Talk about not having any kind of freaking privacy because she could hear me from the door. She could hear me from the closet. And so I would like sit in the corner and I'd try to talk, not on a rotary phone. We didn't have the rotary phones here, but just in general, having a private conversation. The push button phone was the only instrument I could play. <laughs> I remember doing that too, Leanne. Good night, Bridget. Good night, Cricket A. My parents still have one on the farm because it still works with no electricity. That's cool. That's awesome. All right. Now this, I don't think I remember. Oopsie. Who remembers this? I don't remember this so much. Oh, wait, I think I do. But it, I don't remember it being called this. But I think I, I think I remember having something like it. Yep, Spirograph, I do. I still remember our very first... Phone number. Oh, I wish I remembered mine. My maternal grandmother had the heavy black phone. I can beat you all. I grew up in a children's home and we had a payphone on the wall. If we wanted to use it, we had to put money in it. Ah, ha. yeah. I remember payphones, but yes, so fun. Etch a sketch. I love my spirograph. Yeah, I had etch a sketch. Yes, loved playing with it. Loved using the spirograph. Yes, yes, spirograph. Hello, Natalie. I remember I loved this. Hey, Karen, welcome. How are you? I loved it. Oops, spirograph. Liam, I still know my old number and my grandparents. I wish I remembered mine. Oh, I remember this. Well, I remember it from not me because I was in a Ukrainian um, uh, club, but you can still get them. Really? Yes, yeah, so though, different packaging here. Put a colored pencil in and make pretty shapes. Yeah. Spirograph was fun with colored pens. I remember having something where I was doing, I just don't remember if it was actually called the Spirograph. Love it, still love it. Hello, hi Karen, brownies. Yeah, see I was in a Ukrainian like Cub Scout, but it was called Plast, it was mine. Um, but, but brownie girls, oopsie. Brownie uniform, Girl Scouts, never was one. Hello, Twisted Stitches, Brownie Scout uniform. Oops, sorry, had it off the screen. All right, I don't know how many more pictures there are. Um, okay, well, what about this one? I don't, was this Girl Scout? This is Brownies or was the other one Brownies? I honestly don't know. I love the beanie. <laughs> Girl Scout, yes. Okay, so this one's a Girl Scout. Ow. 
Hello, my favorite yarn addict, Karen. All right. Oh, I remember them. They still, my mom's, well, no, I don't think she watches it, but it does play. This is Sound Magazine. Hello at Tammy Webb. Good night. I have to head out and make all the naughty. Okay, Katie, have a great night. Thanks so much for stopping by. I appreciate it. And remember, guys, I do have a coupon code for um, Naughty Knitting Sacks. I have the link down below in the description box as well as the coupon code NAKED15. You get 15% off any of any order you place with um, Naughty Knitting Sacks. Brownie first, then went to Girl Scout. But thank, love hugs and prayers to you, Katie. Have a great night. Stay sane. Thank you for stopping by. I do appreciate it. Girl Scout, hi, everyone. Hey, Kelly, welcome. Brown Brownie up, looked at all those teen magazines. Green Girl Scouts, be right back. Okay, Diana. Hey, Kelly. Hello. Hi, Karen and Kelly. Oh, my God, my arm is tired and my hip. Oh, I can't sit like that. Sorry, I got to unkink and see what the other pictures are. Oh, I remember this. My mom had these. I used to love playing with it. What the heck is that? Wow, there's still a few pictures in here. I don't know how many, but. Give me a second and I'll show, but between my shoulder and my hip and everything, I still have my Partridge family record. Oh, cool. Mm. Hey, Kelly, how are you? I totally fell asleep during your live. Leanne, was it Leanne? I think Leanne um, tried contacting me and I totally slept through her message. I apologize for having missed your live. I'm just lurking, trying to finish blanket. Okay, no problem. Love and hugs to you, too. She said love and hugs to everyone. I don't know. if I think she's trying to not give one to me, though. I'm just kidding, Kelly. I have to give you a hard time because I never get to see you. Yes, the wholesome family on the bus and David Cassidy was pretty easy on the <laughs> – totally. Um, I'll show you the next one in a second. I just have to I, – I, no, no, you – no, ma'am. Uh, you play with your bone. No, 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 no. Finish your bone. Mommy's still, mommy's still doing stuff. I'm still doing stuff, my little face. Go, go play with your bone. Kelly, tell Rose, hey, for me, I'm so happy about the results. Yeah, I didn't get a chance to watch the video. I saw, I got a notification like literally maybe four minutes before I went live, so I need to check it out. But um, hi, Kelly or Pink Brett. Okay, so this, I know you all are going to remember it because. I remember my mom having them, and I remember playing with them all the freaking time. Oopsie. Oopsie. Trying to cover the name. Kelly's lives are so late for me. I know. Well, she goes on. I mean, it, it's not. I, typically, I should be able to get on, but lately, I it's been hard for me to sleep. So when I do sleep, I try to continue sleeping. Um, yep. Hot rollers. I think my mom had this exact set. I remember those little pins, or not the pins, but these guys that you put around the hot rollers to keep them in. Um, yep, I had hot rollers. Yes, hot rollers, hot curlers. I had that exact same set. Yeah, I swear this is the set my mom had. Leanne, how about Sean Cassidy, Hardy Boys? Yes, I had a set. Okie dokie. Now this... I don't know if this is specifically supposed to mean something or, or what. I don't know. The smell is what I remember. The smell of what? This, I have no idea what this is supposed to be. Other than scribbles. Do these symbols mean anything to anybody? I mean, like, specifically? I had a crush on Sean Cassidy. <laughs> Wow, the coloring got really weird. What the hell? Oh, it's shorthand? I never learned shorthand. Can you tell? The roller's heating up. Oh, okay. I could sleep in Carmen rollers. Shorthand, 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 shorthand. Okay, see, I never, I never learned shorthand. This I remember doing. I hope there's a bunch more. Wow, there's like a bunch more. Yeah. Holy mackerel. There's like a million left. Seriously. Remember doing that? I do. 
I'm trying to keep the name covered with still showing the picture so I don't have to con contortion my hand. It's shorthand for secretaries taking notes. My grandmother taught me some. Oh, cool. Yeah, I remember this. Yep, too funny. Yes. Okay. And I know you guys are going to remember this. I know you will. Dick and Jane, I remember. And Sally. Yes, and underinflated balloons for the sound. <laughs> Cards on bike spokes for the noise. Yep. You guys have to remember Dick, Jane, and Spot and everybody. Yep. All good secretaries had to be very fast at taking notes. This was the way it was back then. I failed at it school in my business principles course. Yeah, I don't know. I couldn't remember that. Yes, primary reader. I learned to read on them. LOL, see Dick run, run, Dick run. <laughs> All right. I remember this guy. And the slogan, give a hoot, don't pollute. How are you answering before she shows it? Dang. Am I that far behind for you, Tammy? We had those early readers, though. We had Nip the Dog. I don't remember Nip the Dog. I remember Spot. Give a hoot, don't pollute. Smokey the Bear. No, this isn't smoke. No, this isn't Smokey the Bear. This is an owl. Okay, did anybody have a pair of these specifically? Yeah, yes. Then he went to suckers. Did anybody have a pair of these specifically? I mean, flip-flops, yes, but these specifically. Hi, this is my first time. I didn't realize you were on Talking Retro. I had the spirograph. I had a blue rotary princess phone and the brown uniform with brownies and the green was Girl Scouts. Well, welcome, Paradise Creations. I'm glad you are here. You seem a little quick for us to respond for me. You seem a little quick for us to respond for me, Natalie. What? Oh, Okay. Well, I've, I'm trying to hold up the picture for a while before I actually say anything, but yeah, I don't remember having this pair of these specifically, but I wait until a couple people answer and then I'll go ahead and go to the next one, but well, evidently this picture was taken in 2001 or maybe not. I don't know. The cheap rubber flip-flops. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Who remembers this one? Probably Tammy. Oh my God, I made those for a living. That taught me I should not have failed. <laughs> I only had a minute. I want to jump in and say hi. I love you all. Love you too, Karen. Thanks so much for stopping by. Have a great night. Sweet dreams. Love, hugs, and prayers to you, my friend. My mom always took us there to buy shoes. I do. Nope, don't know. Can you shoes? I remember the name, but I don't know that I remember the sign itself. Open until nine. Okay. Well, I remember these. I'm sweating my butt off. Bye, Karen. Love you, too. Hugs, Karen. Night, Karen. I remember that store. My mom would take my sister and me to get shoes for the first day of school. Oh, fun. I remember Kenny's shoes. Kenny's shoes. That's where I got my Buster Browns. 45s. That's right. I used to love my mom's eight tracks. We used to have a player in the car. Well, and at home, I think. Have to go to... 
Low battery, don't have my charger. This was fun. Can't wait for tomorrow. Bye, Diana. Have a great night. Yeah, I know. Me too. Sweet dreams. Love, hugs, and prayers. Thanks for the support. I really appreciate it. Record player 40. Yep. Lionel record player. That's where we got school shoes. Oh, yes. Love mine. Yep. And the little black circles you could snap in the records to make them. Yeah. <laughs> you are bringing back some happy memories. That's good. I was hoping that would something like that would happen. Ouch. Okay. Got to unkink. Yeah, I don't have a ton of battery either, so let's hope that this lasts. What is this? Okay, I think I remember actually using, I don't know if it was this brand, but I think I remember using this. Record player, my first 45 was the Beatles. Hey, Jude. Oh, how fun. Who remembers this? Isn't it? Um, Love to you, Kelly. I'm so happy to hear about Rose. Bye, everyone. Love you, Natalie. Love you too, Karen. Have a great night. Thank you so much for stopping by. Okay, listen while I work. <laughs> yes, rubber cement. You know what we used to do with rubber cement? It wasn't with, I remember having a, a tip like this on rubber cement. But what we used to do with rubber cement, we had the one where you unscrewed the top and it had the brush in it. We would, we would wipe it on, uh, we would run it on the desk. We let it dry just a little, and then we roll it into a ball, and then we wipe some more, and then we make that ball, like, huge, and then bounce it everywhere. I had some of the plastic things to put in the middle of the 45 record, so it would play on the record player. Yes. Oh, I don't want to go. Ha oh, Diana, I'm sorry. <laughs> yeah, I just got a low battery warning. I may have to go get my charger, plug it into my phone. It won't charge fast, but at least it won't. it shouldn't die. Oh, Tammy, you'll remember this. Both Tammies will probably remember this. Good evening. I hope everyone is well. Hey, Denisha, welcome. How are you? I'm at 15%. <laughs> um, I kind of sort of, I think, remember this, but... Oh, my arm's getting tired. Iodine. Mercurochrome. I know all about that, Natalie. What? Arm being tired or the medic? Oh, my goodness. Yeah, mercurochrome. Oh, yeah, I'm the old one. Of course I remember that awful <laughs> Good to see all of you. All right. So we had enough people answer that one. I remember these. And where do you, where would you see these and what are they for? She would chase you around with it. Oh. I'm an old one also. This is fun. Yes, drive-ins. I'm probably older than most of you. <laughs> At drive-in movie theaters, and you'd put it into your window, and, yep, speakers. We always knew where we had been hurt by the red stuff. <laughs> no idea in UK. Oh, okay, got it. I'm staying until 11. They're doing construction on something in our neighborhood, and the power is going off then, so I need to conserve my battery. Okay, I get it, Denisha. No problem. Speakers at the drive-in. Drive-in movie speakers. That's cool. Yes. Oh, well. We all know this. Come on. I know. I love the concession stand, too. I remember seeing, um, oh, my gosh, um, In the uh, uh, oh my gosh, I can't remember the name of it now. Hopscotch, yep, hopscotch. Used to love hopscotch. Yes, it is, Mary. Or yes, it was. And we all know these. I know we do. 
speakers we have one drive through left in our area just the front few rows still have the speakers very cool and retro oh that's awesome leanne that i had unheard i don't care what my mother used to tell me oh <laughs> now these i think my mom may still even have one of them i hope i'm not going too fast i'm waiting until at least four or five people answer before i switch to the next one I taught my granddaughter Tupperware. We are getting drive-ins back. I think I heard something about that too here. I'm not sure, but that would be awesome. <laughs> Excuse me. George in the Jungle? I can't remember if it was George in the... No, it wouldn't have been. This was like ages and ages and ages ago. Um, With the big bear and the little kid that had the... Oh, for crying out loud, I can't remember. If I saw it, I would know it. Speakers at the driving movies. Okay, so I think I'm way behind for some people. My granddaughter and I play hopscotch. Oh, that's fun. You still have the orange one, Kelly? Yeah, I can't remember which one my mom had as of late. Okay, well, we saw the picture of them individually before, but here's the book. I still have some old Tupperware. Yeah, I have mine in gold. Jungle Book. Yes, Jungle Book. Thank you, Barbara. That uh, that I remember. I specifically remember that movie at the drive-in. I don't remember. I've seen other ones, but Jungle Book. Yes. So fun with Dick and Jane. I had this book. My first reader, nineteen forty-four. Cool. Ow! 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 I think I remember these. We had orange because it matched our countertops. <laughs> cool. We saw old yellow at the drive-in when I was little. Very cool. Higher royal pinkness. Yes, with Baloo. Exactly, Tammy. I just Dick and Jane book at an antique store. I picked it up and looked at the stories. Oh, how cool. Who remembers the fruit stripes? Yep, Fruity Gum. Kelly, congratulations to you and Mama Rose. Okay, well, I'm going to say congratulations, but Kelly, I'll text you after I watch the video. Hey, getting started on homesteading. How are you? Ow. Okay, getting started on homesteading and Paradise Creations. Would you mind sharing your names with me so that I can go and put it on my handy-dandy list so I can actually welcome you by name? If you don't want to, that's fine. I get it. Just figured I'd ask. Gum, zebra stripe. Yes, love fruit stripes. Gum, you can still get them. Can you? That's awesome. I used to love those fruit stripe gum. Thanks, Denny. Can you, you can still buy them at Family Dollar. Really? I got to check that out. Okay, getting started. Melody. Okay, cool. Thank you, Melody. Okay, hold on a second. I got to take a picture of it because you all know I'm going to forget. I saw E.T. in the drive-in. You know what? I can't. I don't think I saw E.T. in the drive-in, but um, hey, Melody, strawberry, orange, lemon, lime, and cherry. Yum. Um, yes, fruit stripe gum. It gets like cardboard within a second. <laughs> okay, I remember these. Everybody calls me Bub. My real name is Bernard. You know what? I think I have you on my list now that I think about it. I do, Bub. Sorry, Bub. I have you on my list. When you said Bub, I remember that I had you on my list. I just didn't check. I apologize. What do you prefer, Bub or Bernard? But you said everybody calls you Bub. But when I go to the Dollar Tree, I see the theater can. It takes me back. Oh, yeah, totally. So you tell me, Bub or Bernard? And I have you as Bub on my list, but I can change it to Bernard if you want. You just let me know. Um. All right. Who remembers these and what they were called? If you guys haven't hit the like button, if you wouldn't mind doing so, I would appreciate it. I'm at 15. <laughs> My first memory of a drive-in was, oh, God, with John Denver and George Burns and saying that's not God, Mommy. Oh, TV dinners. Exactly. TV dinners. Swanson TV dinners. 
We got specifics there. Sherry, did I? I said hi to you, didn't I? TV dinners, several brand names. TV dinners, I've never had one. Pink Kelly, good times. TV dinners. All right. I remember these. I think we had a set, but I don't remember for sure. But I remember them, so we must have had a set. What are these? Okay, Sherry, thanks. Nope, don't want to hit the like button and you can't make me. Yeah, that's right. I can't make you. I just won't hit the like button for you ever. <laughs> I'm just kidding. I just subbed you last week for the seven giveaway tomorrow. This was a good way to find new friends. I'm staying with you. Awesome. I'm glad to hear that, Melody. Thanks for staying with me. I'm actually, I figured I was going to have a mass exodus after the giveaway, but hopefully I won't. But I'm happy to have you here, Melody. I'm glad you found me through, or that, I'm glad you found everybody that you found uh, through the giveaway. Yes, popsicle makers, popsicle molds, Tupperware popsicle molds, homemade popsicle maker, Tupperware ice cream pops maker. Oh, yes, homemade popsicles, Tupperware. Oh, my arm is tired. My Nana had them lollipop makers. Yes, popsicle makers, Tupperware popsicles. Yes, I'm all of the above. But, yes, I am very happy that you found us through Christmas in July fairies. And thank you for staying, staying around after the giveaway. I really do appreciate that. Like, very, very much. We all do. Sincerely, we all do. Oh, yeah, I saw a guy with George Burns. Thanks for that jog of memory. I don't think I ever saw it. I saw Grease at the drive-in movie. For oh, that would have been fun. We just saw Grease out the other day on TV. I prefer Bub. That's what my sister's told me. Okay, Bub, no problem. That's what you told me before, obviously, because that's what I wrote down. Made the Kool-Aid strong to make them. Yum. Oh, I remember these. I can't remember if I had one, but I know I played on them somewhere, probably at a friend's house or something, because we didn't really have space in Chicago, in our apartment in Chicago to have this. But who had one of these? Maybe. Great arm work. Oh, uh, you will have Arnold Schwarzenegger. <laughs> yeah, right. Wouldn't that, I don't know that I want his, but I would love to have biceps, nice biceps. They used to be so nicely, for, you know, I had a shape to them, and you could, I mean, it was nice. Now, not so much. I got the jiggles. <laughs> yep, they still have those. Yeah, but oh, I used to remember slip and slides. Those were so much fun. You know what, guys? I got to go get my um, my charger. <gasps> I remember these. I don't know if I remember this brand, but I remember them in general. I had to take a break to do Wait a minute. Yep, they still have them. Yep, we used black plastic. Oh, yeah, that would that would work. I had to take a break to do the dishes, but I would have stayed anyway. Oh, Sherry, you're sweet. I have a channel when I have a giveaway, I get people to sub, but after the drawing, they some of them would unsell. Oh, yeah, that, that happens a lot. And in this particular case, a lot of us had a lot of new subscribers, and we're all hoping that there's not going to be a mass exodus after the drawing. Um, I, we can't stop it, but hopefully that doesn't happen. Hopefully we kept everybody's attention well enough. I will. I think I'm actually subscribed to you, uh, Melody. I can't remember, but I will definitely double check it once I'm off the live. And I'll stay. Slip and slide. I had one, so did my kids. We made them from rolls of plastic. There you go. How about Jax? Do you remember playing Jax and also those big old marbles on a string? We still have to click them together. I need to get a bigger bar. Is not on your. I need to get a bigger bar. Is not on your elbows. I remember Jax. I do remember playing with Jax. That was fun. Um, and for, for those of you that are new, the re I read all of the comments. Well, as long as I'm able to, and they're not going so fast, too fast. But I read all the comments because, well, right now everybody's interacting. But on a typical live, people would be sitting back and crocheting or working on stuff and just listening. I read the comments so that not only everybody hears what I say, but they know what everybody else is saying. So they don't actually have to stop and read or stop or whatever they can just continue working on whatever they're working on so that is why i am reading all the um comments kabangers i do sylvian pickups yes pickups oh my god i love pickup sticks let me go get my charger don't go anywhere oh for the love of somebody oh, that hurts. don't go anywhere keep talking about the retro stuff or whatever you want to talk about oh my god ow I'm not really trying, but very tempted to. Oh, crap. 
That wasn't good. I plugged it into the wrong thing. Sorry for the earthquake. This is fun. Good. I'm glad you're enjoying it, Mary. My mom. See, we always have fun when we go retro, don't we? Or go food or whatever. So much fun. My mom shocked us one day when we were playing jacks. We thought we were good until she beat us. <laughs> Too funny. I'm the only boy out of kids. You're the only. Oh, really? What kind of dog is that? My dog or that dog? I was in fifth grade. Ah, Dingo. And. Or, and marbles. Yes, and marbles. I remember we used to trade marbles with our friends. Hey, Frank and Tina, welcome. We're doing retro. That's all right. Never too late. Y'all actually watch the movies at the drive-in? Well, depending on who you went with. Yes. Yes, Sylvia, the bruises from those huge hardballs on a string. No smiling, Kelly. <laughs> Here in Australia, they were called click clacks. Hey, Frank and Tina, the dog on the bed. She is three-quarter Belgian Malinois and a quarter German Shepherd. Hey, Tammy Webb. Hi, Sandra. Yikes, 11%. I got down to 14, but I have it plugged in, so hopefully it won't go lower than 14, but it's not going to go much higher. All right, so who remembers this? I don't know if I remember this specific brand, but I do remember Fudgesicles. They still have Fudgesicles, not this brand, but, but who remembers this brand? Yeah, thank you, Mary. I appreciate it. That's Miley. She's part of my lives. Your favorite? Yes, they were yummy. I bet. Fudgesicles are always good. Oh, boy. I can't sit like this for long. Okay, I got to go this way. Ow. They have that brand. They're renamed Fudge Pops. Oh, really? Oh, cool. I do. Those were awesome. I remember this brand. Can't see the brand name. I know it's hard, but maybe by the picture is what I was hoping. I do. Awesome. I remember those. No, not sure we had in UK. We have some in the freezer. Oh, how fun, Sherry. All right. <sighs> this doll freaks me out. I used to live behind a movie drive-in, Fudge Cycle. I remember that brand. I used to get them off the Good Humor Trucks. I love Good Humor Trucks. You're right. Click clacks. Oh, my God. I used to have black and blue marks all over my arm. Why do I not remember those? Okay, who remembers this guy? What if you turn your phone? I mean, this guy. Really? I didn't mean this guy. Um, Mrs. Beasley. I don't know. She freaks me out. Her eyes freak me out. What if I turn my phone what? Where, turn my phone what? The person my parents bought the house built the drive-in. Oh, cool. My sister had a Mrs. Beasley. I have a crochet pattern for one and have it half finished. Oh, how cool. Is that Mrs. Beasley? I'm guessing so. I don't know. No, we didn't have those. Did they look weird? I imagine they would look a little like poop sticks. Sorry, but <laughs> Yes, Mrs. Beasley. She is a doll from Family Affair. Yes, that is her name. Okay, I didn't know that. Oh, I love this. Oh, my God, I want one. I, they still have them, I, I think. I want one again. I really do. She was Buffy's favorite doll on Family Affair. Off of Family Affair, Buffy and Jody. Oh, okay. Thought it might make pick bigger if you turn your phone. On some of them, yes, but it makes it almost more blurry. That's weird. That is Mrs. Beasley from Family Affair. Miss Beasley from Family Affair. I had a Pinto with an 8-track. Yeah, my mom, oh, my gosh, I can't remember which car it was. She had an 8-track. I loved 8-tracks. Just hit 10. I have to go to bed. Good night. Good night. But have a great night. Stay safe and healthy. Love, hugs, and prayers to you and anybody I may miss if you leave and I missed your comments. Thank you so much for your support. I really appreciate it. Good night, good night. Yep, love. Yes, light bright. I love light bright. Loved it, loved it, loved it, loved it. I really would love another one. I had so much fun with light bright. 
All right. What does this say? Oh. Who remembers these? I bought that for my daughter when she was little. Now she's 37 years old. Love me some light. I love my light bright. Who remembers the kiss, kissing potion? I think that's what it said. Yeah, kissing potion. I think I even may remember these. I can't say for sure, though. Ours is in storage as we speak. Okay, I was, it was a sweet TV show about a single dad raising his three kids, and we had a he had a butler, Frenchman. Oh, okay, got it. Okay, who remembers the yellow truck that used to go around the neighborhood with donuts, glazed donuts? I remember glazed donuts for 25 cents. Now, I do not remember that. I love to use the black paper to make background darker and show off the colors. Yes. Lip smackers. No, I remember kissing potion. Yes. Lip gloss roll on. I remember those. I think I used to have some. I remember those. You were cool if you had <laughs> those. Junior high and high school. Mr. French was the butler. Got it. All right. Okay. This. They weren't his kids. They were his nieces and nephews. Oh, okay. Got it. Who remembers this? For the records. Oh, okay. Got it. Oh, my hand is getting tired. Adapter for 45 RPM records. Had millions of those. That goes in the center of 45 record. No idea on that one. That's what you put in the middle of a 45 record to put in center of 45. I had those for records for 76. Got it. Ugh. Holy mackerel. How the freaking many are there? There's like tons of stuff here. What about this? Eyelids are getting heavy. See you all later. Good luck tomorrow, everyone. Bye, Linda. Thanks for stopping by. I appreciate it. Love, hugs, and prayers. Yes, good luck to everybody tomorrow. Thank you so much for your support and for stopping by. Sweet dreams. Okay, I'm leaving now. Bye. Bye, Diana. Thanks for staying. Have a great night. Sweet dreams. Love, hugs, and prayers. Looks like a he center for records. Good night, Linda. Test pattern. Good night, everybody. After 12 a.m. on the TV. Oh, is that when it was? After 12 a.m. on the TV? I thought it was something like that. Test pattern came on after channels finished at night. Cool. This I remember. We had these in my classroom. The alphabet. Or, I mean, the you know what I mean. Not the alphabet. Um, off air. Remember when TV was off air after 2? Test pattern. I remember that was at the end of the day on regular TV. Good night, Daigo. Back in the day, I'm hot. I remember these. It was also used to adjust your TV picture. Oh, cool. I remember that. Sometimes I would sleep in the middle of a show. When I woke up, I would hear that sound like a sorry. <laughs> we had those two, writing both printing and cursive. Yes. There's little round things you put in the 45. What the heck? Why did it go away? Ah, hold on a second, guys. I got to refine it. Actually, I more have to get to the picture. Seriously? Holy macaroni. All right, you all know this kid. Who's that? I know him. Oops, ABCs. Yep, to learn your BC. <laughs> Lots of Christmas and July fairy videos to watch tomorrow. Ooh, ooh, exciting. Who remembers the flag and the national anthem at the end of the TV night? I don't remember that, but I remember the flag and the national anthem at school. They ain't playing nice on a little dumb phone. <laughs> I know. Yes, Mikey. Mikey likes it. That was above the chalkboard. It showed how to write the alphabet. If I'm seeing it correctly, that's Mikey. Yes, you're right, Melody, on both. That is Mikey. Give it to Mikey. Mikey likes it. Okay, I didn't have one of these, but I think my mom did. He won't eat it. 
Mikey hates everything. He likes it. Hey, Mikey. <laughs> Mystery date game. Mikey will eat anything. Yep, Mikey will eat anything. Miley, stop. Stop. Miley, stop. There's nobody there. We had it in our school. Miley, stop. Relax. Just relax. Just relax. Just relax. There's nothing there. No, there's nothing there. I promise. You're safe. There's nothing there. Lay down. Oh, mystery date game. I didn't have one, but I remember it. No, didn't have that. Yeah, I remember people talking about it. Um, okay. What about this? It kind of reminded me of a dating game on TV. I had a mystery date game. My best friend and I would play that game all the time. Oh, cool. Three doors to open to find date. Yeah. I wasn't forced to play it. I taught recorder. I was a music teacher. Oh, cool. Recorder learned to read music with it. Well, that's cool. Oh, my God. Yes, what a noise. <laughs> Hold on, guys. You can still play Mary Had a Little Lamb on it. That's cool. I had one of those that almost like playing the flute. I bought the Twins recorders years ago. They still have them. It was forced in music class. I don't remember it being in music class, but my music class was a little different. Ear bleeding to hear an entire class of kids playing those. Totally. All right. Who remembers this sign? I don't remember when the sign was this. If this is the same Taco Bell they're referring to. I don't know. Everybody got quiet. You remember it, Tammy? I do not. Is this that Taco Bell? I mean, is that the current Taco Bell? You know what I mean. Old sign. It's the Taco Bell we have. I never ate there with that sign. My parents were not into tacos. Oh, okay, got it. Whoa. <gasps> oh, I remember this. I remember it. I remember this. Kaleidoscope. I loved my kaleidoscope. I loved my kaleidoscope. That was a dating game with the three contestants and the one person tell us getting the questions and also the newlywed game. Yeah, I remember those. Yeah, I remember. Oh, man, my back is like crinkling. I can hear it like move. I can hear my spine move. Yeah, I know. I, I don't have a kaleidoscope, but I would still love it if I did. <laughs> a little trippy. Leanne, really? I remember this. I think I had one. And if I didn't have one, a friend had one. I used to play on theirs. I Oh, I think it was my friend Tony, if I'm not mistaken. I had one. I really liked the way the designs changed. Lots of small, colorful pieces of plastic and mirrors in the tube. Exactly. I have an automatic one now that looks like fireworks going off. Love that old style cardboard one. Yeah, me too. Who remembers this? Oh, my gosh. One time when we were at the PARK. There was a kid jumping on one of these in the, like, inside gate. Like, you have the gate to go in, and then you have, like, the waiting area, and then the gate to go into the actual PARK. And a kid was bouncing on this. Oh, my God, Miley was freaking out. She did not love it. Uh, pounding, she's turned her back to you. Yeah, she is. Yep, Pogo Sticks. I had one, and I can't remember the name. Pogo Stick. I played on it a few times when I was little. It was fun. 
loved this. I don't know if this is advertisement or what, but I loved this restaurant. We always had to go. I always asked for crayons. And when one time they didn't have it, and I was so sad, and my mom felt so bad because I just looked so pitiful when I was sad. Um, I remember jumping for hours. <laughs> I can't imagine that, Tammy. Pogo stick, my balance was so bad I can never do more than three jumps. I, at the beginning, mine was really bad, too. But who remembers Big Boy? Oh, I love the restaurant. They had the best hamburgers. I think they're still around in Michigan, if I'm not mistaken. I could be wrong, though. Remember Space Hoppers also. I do not. I saw it, maybe, but not just by the name. Shoney's Big Boy. Loved Big Boy. Didn't have Big Boy in awe. I love the chocolate cake with ice cream. Yum. Sounds good. Changed to just Shoney's. Oh, okay. I remember Big Boy. They still have one in Burbank, California. Changing name for some reason. Yeah, I used to love Big Boys. This I don't remember. But wow, was the food cheap. Cheap, cheap, cheap. Chipper chicken. From um, Father of the Bride. Who remembers this? Then Big Boy used to love the fish and chips as a child. Who remembers this? Look how cheap the food is. Cheap, cheap, cheap. Jack in the box. I think they got bought out Sherry Hall. Jack in the box. That would make sense that this would be Jack in the box. Oh, I loved it. Loved it. Loved it. Loved it. Is that Jack in the box didn't have those either? I don't remember us having them either, but Polaroid. Yeah, but the food was cheap. <laughs> Who had one of these? <clears throat> Yep. Arthur Tree Chews and Roy Rogers. I remember Roy Rogers. Pol Polaroid instant camera. Yep. Loved my Polaroid camera. I still have several around here. Oh, uh, got it. You can't get film for them anymore. Instant camera, they were very luxurious in the day. Yes, they were. I did Polaroid instant, Polaroid camera. I think my parents did. I had and still have the Instamatic. Had one for 18. Uh, my ex fiance I bought his daughter an instant camera. It was a pink one that they had at Target. Um, I don't know if it would be the same film, though, as that one. Had one for 18th. Oh, cool. That was Big Boy, of course. Huh? What was Big Boy, of course? I remember this. I think. Maybe not. Who remembers this magazine? So sorry. It's not the same film. My granddaughter has the... Oh, okay, got it. Teen Mag. Yep. Oh my God, Teen Mag. <laughs> yep. No, oh, another Teen Magazine. I used to enter and win with that mag. Oh, cool. He bought it every week. Awesome. Crap. When did I? I don't remember this. Yeah, I know. Who remembers this, if you can see it? P 
perm kit. I do hair perm. I bought every teen magazine. Yes, hair relaxer, home perm, hair perm. Perm. Yeah, back in the day, perms, I tried to get a perm one time. My hair was so thick and silky and straight and heavy. I got the tiniest, um, they use the tiniest, uh, oh my gosh, roller with the strongest perm solution. It cost so much money. It lasted, I think, for, it was like a week and a half or maybe two weeks. And it was straight as my hair is straight now. Oh, my gosh. That was not fun having paid all that money. I still have the rollers. I remember. I think that's the brand my mother used. Oh, cool. I do not remember this. What is this? Um, oh. Who remembers these potato chips? My mother did a perm on me when I was in the first grade and my hair looked awful. <laughs> I went through some really interesting hairstyles back when I was back at, towards the end of grammar school, which was up to eighth grade. I had my side shaved with a lightning bolt along the side with a perm top. Well, no, I started out with the perm top and then I shaved the sides and put lightning bolts on it. Um, I had all kinds of crazy, crazy haircuts. Those were so good. Nope, the perm is Tony Perm. The man would come around in the truck and sell them. Oh, cool. Is it Frank or Tina that's on here, or both of you? Oh, my gosh, my back. No, what did I do? I think I remember doing this as a kid. I can't remember, though. Frank tonight. Hi, Frank. Can you see what the kid's doing? Yeah. I think I've done that before when I was a kid. I can't remember, though. Anybody? Anybody? Bueller? Bueller? Good night, all. This has been fun. Bye, Judy. Thanks so much for stopping by. I appreciate the support. Have a great night. Sweet dreams. Love, hugs, and prayers to you. Yep, in a doorway. Night, Judy, my younger sister did. No. I can't remember if I did or if it was one of my siblings that used to do it. Kaylee and Bean do that every day. Do they? <laughs> How funny. We climb trees. We could get higher. I didn't really climb much, I don't think. Oh, I remember this. So remember this. What uh, did not do that? If my parents found out, I would have had a sore rear end. Oh, I get it. Who remembers this? I had fun with this. And we had this other game, and I remember, okay, I have to try to remember it to describe it to see if anybody remembers. Cootie Catcher, yep. Um, forget the name, but made them. Oh, yeah, but forgot what they were called. We used to have this game back in grammar school. Again, this was before eighth grade and, or like eighth grade and younger. <laughs> Is that Frank? That's awesome. Um, we used to like we would have we would line we would have the um, horizontal and parallel lines, and we would have like I think it was like names and numbers and stuff, and it was then we'd go through and we cross off different things and then you'd know like the name of the person and your kids names and all this other kind of stuff I mean I don't remember I honestly I can't even remember the details to know if I'm even describing it right but if that sounds at all familiar I'd love to know if you remember it and I need to look it up to try to figure out what it was so that I can try to remember like replicate it again my son will do that right through the hallway leaving his grubby footprints on the paint <laughs> <laughs> what is this? I can't read the box. It's too blurry. So maybe somebody will be able to tell from the picture. Oh, yeah, like MASH, Mansion, Apartment, Shack, House. Yeah, 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 yeah. 
damn, I got to remember how to do it and try it again. That we used to have so much fun. We used to take up so much time doing it too. <laughs> that and passing notes all the time. Yes, a cup of, oh, is that what it is? Okay, cool. Yes, romper stompers. I remember those. That's what it says, romper stomper. Those are like walking romper stompers. I had those. You put them around your ankle and swing it around. Oh, no, that's for walking on like baby stilts. Hey, Kathy, welcome. How are you? You put, you put feet on the cups and jumped? What's the purpose? I guess I got to look that up. Tammy, remind, Tammy Twisted Stitches, remind me later about the mash, okay? Please and thank you because I'm going to forget. You know I'm going to. And I really want to remember. I was thinking of another game. Never had one but saw them on um, no stilts. No, just walked like stilts. They were strong enough? I mean, I guess it's for a kid, but that just sounds like they would. What's the What's the green cord? What's the green cord for? <laughs> okay, hopefully I remember to ask you. We had something like it. We made our own with tin cans and rope and holes to walk around. We jumped on them. Goes to show how daring we were. Does your dog talk much? She does when she wants to. And everybody in here, all her YouTube aunts, because she's like the star of the show. They all try to get me to trip up and say the word T-R-E-A-T-S or P-A-R-K or stuff like that because it typically gets her attention. But right now she's tired because she had a B-O-N-E before. Um, but if she wants to, she does, yes. But typically not unless there's a reason for it. Telephone line. You hold the cord in hands. Cord hooked the cups to help walk. You held the green string. Okay, I got to look this up because it's driving me nuts. Okay, well, I think I bought, I don't know if I bought this or if I bought a bracelet of it, but we've talked about this in the past when I got it from the candy shop, which for those of you guys that weren't here earlier, my favorite candy shop, there's three on the beach on three different beaches. The, my favorite one closed down. I'm so sad. You have no idea because they had the most stuff in there and the nicest people. And yeah, sucks. Hi, everyone. Hey, Teresa. Welcome. How are you? I made homemade ones two years ago for adult biker drinking games. Still, still walking. <laughs> How fun. We have a Belgian German shepherd mix as well. Oh, cool. I can't say the great word and the ride word. What? I can't say the great word and the ride word. Candy necklace, they are in the Dollar Tree. Love candy necklace, candy. Yeah, I bought, I think, was it a necklace or was it the bracelet that I bought when I went to the candy shop and we did retro night with the candy? I don't remember, but I think I still have it, actually. Oh, I think I remember this. Not because I remember it, but I, I remember it, I think, because of my mom. But I could be wrong. What about this? Good, good, glad I was able to catch you. Me too, Teresa. Thanks for stopping by. I really do appreciate it. We're just doing retro night, going through pictures and reminiscing and guessing what stuff is and candy necklace. And I had bracelets. <laughs> yeah, we used to, one of my friends used to like bite it just enough and then fling them across the room. I can't say the yeah word or ride. I have a shih tzu. I almost said the T-R-E-A-T -E word. Romper room, romper room, romper room, looking glass, romper room, magic mirror. Okay, so that is not what I thought it was. Okay. Oh, man. <sighs> I remember these. I don't know. I don't know that you can. I can't remember if you can find them at, like, Walgreens and stuff anymore. Or even at Walmart. But I remember these. My mom used to get them. And then I, I think I did even back when I first started working retail. Sheer energy in the egg. I remember it. Romper, bumper, stomper, boo. I remember that. Oh, gosh. Yep, pantyhose, legs, pantyhose. I stopped crocheting to play this game. <laughs> cool. Leg, eggs, pantyhose. Yep. All right. 
I think I kind of remember these with the with the like the juice in the inside. I used to wear those stockings. Yeah, I know my mom did too. Nothing beats a. I think I did too, actually. Nothing beats a great pair of legs. <laughs> yep. I remember getting mad that my mom had a toy. <laughs> I'm not going there, Frank. Oh wow, are we aging ourselves or what? You should have seen some of the stuff earlier, Teresa. Yeah, Frank, I'm not touching that one. No, sir. Not doing it. I love that gum. They still sell it at some places. Gum breath freshener. Yep, I remember, but I never chewed that gum. I've chewed recent ones like with fruit in it, the fruit gel or juice or whatever, but not this one. Love that gum, but I never squirted as they showed. <sighs> Okay. Yeah, I know what you mean. Okay. I have no idea, honestly. Couldn't tell you. Wow, everybody got quiet. What's up? Nobody knows? Dark shadows. My hero. Dang, dark shadows. Dark shadows. Barnabas Collins. Dark shadows. Oh, my. He looks a bit creepy just saying. I know, Leanne. No idea. Me neither. Me neither, Barb. I think my mom used to have one of these. I have the books, first night time, first night time soap. Oh, how are you doing, Natalie? It's been a bit. Uh, did you see the Dark Shadows remake with Johnny Depp? No, I didn't. I think I watched every single episode. I forgot his name. I watched that show when it was black and white. Yes, more Tupperware measuring cup. Oh, yeah, I had that measuring cup. I think my mom had this one. I can't say for sure, though. I think it was that one. All right, who remembers these? Did anybody have a pair of these specifically? This is a measuring cup. Yes, it's a measuring cup. We're, we're talking about retro stuff. My mother had a Tupperware measuring cup. Those shoes are... Fire, I think my mom still had it, probably my sister did. Oh, yeah, baby. <laughs> and I have a pair of something like those now. No, I hated them. Yeah, they're not my particular thing. Okay. I don't know that I can say I know this. If you guys haven't hit the like button, if you could do so, I'd greatly, greatly, greatly appreciate it. I had those shoes. They were my favorite. They were so heavy. Tina still has some of those shoes. Oh, really? That's cool. They looked good with bell bottoms. Yeah, I guess so. I felt so grown up in those. <laughs> I don't even want to go where where I went with this, but that's the skip it game, skip a boo. What do you mean? How you play it? Yes, I had one game. Who remembers Candy's shoes? I don't, I don't think. That's the thing I said that goes around your ankle and swing it. Oh, okay, I got it. Yeah, those were cool. You put it on your leg, then jumped it. Okay, I remember something about that. I didn't, I don't think I ever actually played it, though. This is the one that you put on your leg and skip over it. Put on ankle and jump over. Put on ankle and swings around. You hop over it. Yeah, I think that's where you put it on your foot. Foot and circle, jump and twirl. Got it. Okay. I remember my version of this, but not this version of this. Play kitchen. I loved my kitchen. I think I I think I had the kitchen. Did I have the kitchen? I had the Barbie Dream House, but 
um, it's funny because my parents bought me a Bob Barbie dream house and they hid it in the basement and they had it, I think either in the box or they had it covered. Evidently I found it. So I would go down and I would play with it and then I'd hide it again. Like they did. So they didn't know I found it and played with it. And I, my mom caught me playing with it one time. I don't know that she actually like came up to me, but she saw me playing with it and then saw it all covered up again. And yeah, I was a little sneak. I had a yellow one, easy oven. I love my easy bake oven. Not sure of the name of this, but you put it around your ankle and swung the yellow ball part and skipped across the swinging ball. Great for kids to play in their own. It looks like a lemon is what it looked like. I had a really cool one in 72. Easy bake oven. <laughs> Who remembers this? 1977 Barbie Dream House is worth about 1200 now. Yeah, I wish I still had it. Heck, my my um my um cabbage patch dolls, I wish I still had. My Barbie Dream House was cardboard. Was it? Who used this? Because innocence is sexier than you think. <laughs> Anyone? Anyone? Bueller? Bueller? Okay, I smelled like that all the time. <laughs> me, oh my God, I used to love that perfume. Not me, I'm not old enough. Not. Nope. Oh, my back is itching. I can't find my back scratcher. Okay, this is the last one. I know you guys are going to know this. I think they may even still sell them. I think. I'm almost positive they do. Um, young person's cologne. All the furniture and on the TV was Nat King Cole. I remember the perfume. Drum roll. Yeah. Well, I can't do it because that will get her excited. But Frank's got the drum roll. So this is the last one. I love this. I loved it. Who remembers these from back in the day? Not ones now, but from back in the day. Can you see it? I think you can see it. At least from my perspective, you can see it. Jiffy Pop. Loved it. I loved the Jiffy Pop. I loved watching it go from there to there. I mean, to, and then this and then it blowing up and then. Poof. Yep. But do you remember from back in the day? I think they still sell it, don't they? I think it's actually still even Jiffy Pop. Maybe not. I don't remember. Jiffy Pop popcorn used to make on top of wood stove. Yeah. Loved, loved, loved doing this Jiffy Pop. Loved it. So we went through like, I think like 80 pictures. I mean, now this was retro. Yes, we've had fun with retro candies and toys and, all, and stuff. Um, but when my kids were little, I would make it. Yes, they still sell it. Yep, and yep, and yes, still called that. Is it? It is still. I thought it was. I gotta get some. I love Jiffy Pop. Yes, I used to make it for some. My mom and I want you know do movie night on Saturday afternoons. So movie afternoon, we'll watch something recorded or whatever, and we always get popcorn like from Publix or something, or chips or whatever. But Gotta get some Jiffy Pop. Oh, my God. That would be so much fun. Yep, that was our Friday night TV snack. Thanks for the memories. That toy was called Who the Loop. Oh, it was called Who the Loop. Sylvia, did I? I said hi to you. I know I did. Okay. You're welcome for the memories. I hope you guys enjoyed this. Thanks for reminding how old I really am. <laughs> Tammy, you are in very good company. And you're not old. Stop it. You know that drives me nuts when you say that. My kids used to love watching it get bigger. I know. That was so much fun. That was, like, really so much fun. How sad was that 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 was fun? But that was fun. So I hope you enjoyed Retro Night. Um, and I'm glad my mom my mom had sent me this link from Facebook. And she's like, maybe you can include this in one of your videos or do something with it. Well, I wouldn't typically do this. I mean, this is something you interact with. It's not something I would go through a regular video on. And so I was like, well, I'm doing my live tonight, so I'll go ahead and include it. Unfortunately, she was sleeping, so... She'll watch the replay 
and may actually fully watch the replay. Of course, she always replays my videos, but sometimes she just has it playing while she's doing other stuff. This one I think she'll watch. My kids used to love, oh, I already read that. How often do you do this? Well, I, ha I do my regular videos Monday, Wednesdays, and Fridays. Those are my recorded videos. And then I do a live on Tuesday nights at 9.30 p.m. Eastern. If I'm able to, I'll hop on another night. I was getting known for my pop-up lives because after my mom, I up until mid-November, I had never done a live. And then my mom had a, an emergency surgery. And I wasn't able to do my recorded video. So I started, I did my first live. And then I was doing like anywhere from like five, well, anywhere from like four to six lives a week. And I would just pop up at any time. And um, I started going back to my regular schedule with only one scheduled live a week. But I could pop up any other time. However, typically, if I'm going to do another live, it's on the weekend, sometime in the afternoon between either noon and like 2 p.m. Eastern or 4 to 6 p.m. Eastern so that my our friends from across the pond can join because right now they're sleeping. Although Reggie may pop in, who knows, because she tends to wake up at 5 in the morning. Sorry, there was a spider or something. Sorry for the earth, earthquake, but there was something crawling on my laptop. Um, anyway, wait, let's see what I missed. That, that was uh, how often? Okay, so I hope I answered that question. your question, Melody. This was really fun. I enjoyed it. Thanks, Frank. I'm glad you enjoyed it. Um, that was fun. That was fun. We all remember some of these. Thank Mom for us all. I will. Yeah, it reminds me of when I was young. Now I'm just old and <laughs> getting older tomorrow. Oh, well, happy early birthday. Almost early. It's only 41 minutes until midnight. Well, actually, I don't know where you live, so I can't. I don't know when midnight is for you. I'm on the East Coast. Oh, okay, cool. I'm in Florida. Um, yes, so definitely happy early birthday, Teresa. Excuse me, I need a drink. But for those of you that weren't here when I started the live, I had four announcements. One was, I'm sorry, I didn't do my video yesterday. I just had too much going on and then toothache and hip and just, it just didn't work out. So I hope you guys forgive me, but it just couldn't happen. Um, oh, are you Melody? Awesome. Where in Florida? I'm in Minnesota. Oh, cool. Teresa, I, what time zone is, I can't remember what time zone Minnesota is. Uh, but anyway, so that was one. Two, um, Christmas in July fairies. Make sure if you haven't seen my video that you check it out and enter before 9 a.m. Eastern, which is when I'm going to close it off and I'll do the drawing. Um, and make sure you check all the rest of them out. Um, if you're willing to, I really hope that the people that have joined all of these channels, there are 161 fairies. So I hope the people that have joined new channels will stay after the giveaway. Um, I know that doesn't always happen. A lot of people join just for the giveaway. We get it. We understand. But if you're willing to, that would be awesome. Um, worst comes to worst, just take the notifications off. You can still stay joined. Just turn the notifications off if you're not wanting to get notified. But that's my two cents, and that I'm done with that. But I'm doing my drawing at 9 a.m. Eastern tomorrow morning, and my winner video will be posted sometime before midnight tomorrow. I can't commit to any time specifically. I do also have my regular Wednesday video going up, so um, I don't know that I'm going to have much on there except one of my announcements that I'm actually going to go over in a second here. But, um, oh, Sebring, I'm in the Tampa Bay area. Um, Central, Okay. Well, then your birth, well, your birth of the day is technically in an hour and 18 minutes, I think. So happy early birthday. Um, thanks for the birthday wishes, everyone. You're welcome. Well, it's 4.41 a.m. in UK, so need a brew. Glad I caught you, Natalie. Thanks for your company, everyone. I'm glad you caught me, too, so much, Barb. Have a great night. Stay safe and healthy. Thank you so much for being here. I really appreciate the support. Love, hugs, and prayers to you, my friend. I don't know how many channels I sub to. I'm going to check to see tonight. Okay, cool. Um, but so anyway, so that's that was the second announcement. Third one, um, I I don't know who remembers me doing the unboxing last week. So uh, last week of the Scritzy hand cream, they are a UK-based.
company. Um, but she did set me up with a coupon code for their Etsy shop. The link is in the description box below, as well as the coupon code, which is closet 10. It'll get you 10% off um, your purchase. Uh, it, but for anybody in the U S she is asking for a minimum of 10 pounds to be spent, which is like $12 and 58 cents as of two hours and 14 minutes ago. So I'm just going to round it up to $13, uh, because of the shipping cost. It just, she needed to do it at least $13 for the coupon. Um, but that is in the descri description box below. We also had Naughty Knitting Sacks in here earlier. I have a link in the description box below for her as well. And a coupon code that's NAKED15. You get 15% off your purchase with her. It's her Etsy shop. Um, she has amazing bags. But anyway, the the, uh, the announcement was for Scritzy. I have... I now have a coupon code for her that I can offer to everybody. Um, so if you've never tried her, their hand creams or let's say you're in the UK and, you know, it's a little probably less expensive, I'm guessing, because you don't have the conversion or probably the shipping as much. And the shipping is actually isn't bad to the U.S., but go ahead and check them out. I would love it if you guys would at least check, check her Etsy shop out. Um, so that was announcement number three and then announcement number four. Hold on a second. Uh, I go to Tampa when I have a doctor's appointment at Biospine. Oh, okay. I'm in Pinellas County. Um, not far from Tampa though. Nope. I wasn't born until 5 39 AM. I know, but at least it's your birthday at mid at 12 01. Um, but you're right. So you've got five six, whatever, six and a half hours, seven hours, something like that. But her happy early birthday. Good luck to all who have entered into all the new channels. We have all found. We are such a supportive community. Yes, we are, Leanne. If you are leaving, Leanne, I love you. Have a great night. Thanks for stopping by. I appreciate it. Or have a great day. Sorry, you're in Australia. Have a great day. Um, love, hugs, and prayers to you. Stay safe and healthy. Everybody stay safe and healthy, please. I was hoping to find some sewing channels. I also sew. Yeah, unfortunately, I'm not a sewing channel. Have you checked Melody Ham? I think she sews, but she's not part of the she's not part of the fairies. But I think she sews and quilts and crochets and all kinds of stuff. Everyone have a blessed day, evening. Good luck to everyone. But remember, we are all the winners for finding all of the new channels. Yes, Tammy. Thanks. Thank you so much, my friend. Noni has done her fairy draw. Just so you know, Nelly. Okay, cool. Thanks, Leanne. Um, I do two of Paradise Creations. Yes, Tammy does, but she doesn't have a channel. But she does so like a maniac, at least lately as a like a maniac. Um, but my fourth announcement was many. Uh, some of you were with me before I started doing my lives in November um, and was just doing my regular videos. And I was doing the subscriber of the week. I'm wanting to bring it back. However, it's not going to be with decorating the screen behind me in my in my living room um, because I was contacted when the laws were changing. I was told that if I continued that, I would be considered a child friendly channel, and everything would change. And I my content is for adults. Um, not that I'm bad for kids, but it's not designed for kids. So I will be thinking up, I actually have an idea for the way I would be doing it, but I would like to know from you guys, if it's something you would be interested in me bringing back, it's a way for me once a week to pick a winner that will be the subscriber of the week and sending them a little something. However, it used to be stitch markers that I made. I would send one stitch marker, but with the postage and everything changing and me wrapping it in a little bit of bubble wrap because I use crystals and stuff and having had one return to me when I didn't do it broken, um, I'm not going to be doing stitch markers right now because I, once I put it into the card, it now turns into a package because it's too thick for a regular stamp envelope. So now we're talking four or $5 a card four or five times a week. I know that doesn't seem like a lot, but it adds up. So I would be doing like a sheet of stickers, which you all know, I love bling and you know, I get creative, but it would be like a sheet of stickers or once I get some of my own closet swag, or with stickers or a postcard or something. Um, I just want to know if getting a sheet of stickers, if you were the subscriber of the week and a card from me, would that be something that you would actually enjoy? 
Or is that just not really something that's of any interest? If it's not of any interest, I won't bring the subscriber of the week back for now. Um, if it is something you wouldn't mind, you know, and it's something, like I said, just as a thank you, let me know in the comment section below if you're watching it on replay or now you can let me know if you'd be interested in it. But um, that I'm going to mention that on my video tomorrow so that I can get more feedback. And if I have enough interest in bringing it back, I will give all the details on Friday. Uh, so just let me know if you would be interested and if a sheet of stickers or something from me with a card would be enough of a thank you for you to you guys once a week for one person that I end up picking in the drawing. Um, I used to be a member when she first started out. Oh, with M Melanie Ham. I do some tutorials and hauls on my channel. Oh, okay, cool. Like I said, I think I'm subscribed to you, but if not, I am going to subscribe to you. And I will stay. And I, I do hope, Melody, that you will stay with my channel after the drawing. Um, that would be awesome. Finding all the Yarny channels has certainly cheered me up. I know. I have so many notifications now. I'm trying to keep up, but it's so hard. But I am trying to give everybody a little bit of time. Oh, great. I'll go check it out. Paradise Creations. Thank you, Tammy. I'm sorry, Tammy. I spelled your name wrong. Oh, yeah. I'm the old one. Oh, well, Tammy with one M. Yeah, and Twisted Stitches is Tammy, T-A-M-M-I-E. So we had two Tammies in the chat today. I'm going to do a giveaway video when this is done. Oh, cool. Miley is awake. Time for a, yeah. No, if she stays quiet, no. She seriously gained a lot of weight. I'm, I'm not trying to be mean. She has gained a lot of weight. And it's getting harder for her to even run around the backyard and get exercise because of the weight. So I'm really, we're, we're really trying to, back up on some stuff a little bit. No worries at Paradise Creations. I will because when I find one that's fun, I always say, okay, awesome. I'm, I'm ha well, I'm happy you, you, uh, th you find my channel fun. That makes me happy. Um, go ahead, Tammy. Uh, okay. Hey, is better than what she's doing. Yeah, but she was just doing it momentarily. That wasn't a forever one. Um, but she seriously gained weight. I mean, I feel, I mean, she's not fat by any means, but I just want her to be healthy. I want her to stick around for a while. You know what I mean? She's still getting plenty. Don't worry about that. She's not being neglected at all whatsoever. Um, and if she's not asking for it, I don't, I don't just offer it. Okay, I don't understand. I keep getting uh, sounds like somebody's talking, but yet no notifications. That's just really weird. Um, oh, okay. I don't know. There's something going on on a different chat. My dog licks her paw in the backside all the time. I ask her, do you really need to do that? <laughs> yeah, I know. She'll sometimes get in, into the backside a little bit. And it's weird because, uh, like, there's a scent that goes along with it that I, I can smell. And that's when I know that she needs to go do something. But it's not often. It's really weird. Um, but I don't know. She needs me to help remind you. <laughs> she's not asking for one, so she's not getting one right now. Okay. I don't know if Leanne's still around, but she probably is. Seen. Anyway, um, so like I said, let me know if the subscriber of the week is something you guys would be interested in me bringing back. Um, no, she told me to tell you. <laughs> I think dogs look their paws to relax. Yeah, she, she'll sometimes do it if she has something like on her and she's always, I don't know, but she hasn't been doing it like to make any kind of, you know, the, um, hot spots or anything. So I'm grateful for that because she had gone through a small period of time that she was doing that in a couple spots. But, um, uh, you are here. Okay. I'm, I'm guessing you're, you, I, yeah, you commented on there. Um, it can cause a terrible irritation. I know. I know, but they clean themselves too. So they have, I mean, it's not, she's not incessantly doing it, 
but um, the subscriber of the week sounds like fun. Okay, thanks, Melody. Stickers and a card would be wonderful. Just receiving something from you would be special for me. So I hope everybody feels that way. Just receiving something from you would be very special to us. <laughs> Thank you, Sylvia. I appreciate that. Like I said, I'd love to be able to do the stitch marker. But first of all, with shipping going up, that's already one thing. But um, when I first started sending it, even though I have the do not machine or the non-machinable stamp, I still take it to the clerk and I tell them this is non-machinable or, you know, hand cancel or whatever. And they're supposed to put it in a separate section. Well, one of the ones that they did, they didn't machine it. It, it still came back to me and I do use Swarovski crystals in my, uh, typically in all of my um, stitch markers, but the crystal, one of the crystals was smashed and it, it was really bent up and the, the car, the envelope was ripped. And I was like, you know, okay, I need to start bubble wrapping it. Well, even though I use a very light layer of bubble wrap, nothing major, it still pushes it out more than let's say a, a thing, a tea does, a tea packet does. So I was like, okay, no problem. While wow. the, the postage was like, depending on where it was being sent in the States, even was like anywhere from like three seventy five to $5. And I'm like, okay, not that I mind spending. If I had the money, if I had loads of money, I would have no problem spending it at all whatsoever. And I would send everybody something, but I'm like, okay, this is getting a little rough. And I'm like, this is ridiculous that it costs that much. It's in a card envelope. I mean, it's not like, you know, I'm stuffing the envelope. It's just a little bit of a bubble in there. They're like, yeah, but it's considered a package then. And I'm like, whatever, you guys just want more money. Okay, fine. But then my mom had her surgery and then I went to lives and the, that stopped. But I really would like to bring it back because I, I love the idea, especially as the channel grows to, and I know it's only one person a week, but still it's one person that would have to recognize something that has changed in one of the videos of the three that are posted and uh, I would still be doing a drawing, but that's one person. I, that's a that's one way that I can thank, you know, thank my subscribers and something that I can just, you know, throw a stamp on and send away. And I just wasn't sure if a sheet of stickers and a card would mean, not that it wouldn't mean, I'm not saying that you wouldn't think it meant something, but would would that be enough? Does that make sense? I mean, I would hope it would be, but if that's an, cause it's not like a giveaway, you know what I mean? It's just a thank you. So, okay, I'm done. I have enough of you on here so far. And like I said, I will mention it on tomorrow's video, um, my regular video. And then I'm guessing it's going to be everybody, uh, people are going to be interested. So then on Friday, I'll go ahead and officially announce it and it'll start next week. Um, I feel the same way about it. Doesn't matter what the gift would be. Okay, cool. Thank you, Melody. But she told me she is using her manner, so she needs me to tell you. <laughs> yeah, keep trying, Aunt Tammy. I agree, Sylvia. Um, hello, just got home. Um, I don't have you on my list, Yarn Overhook. Hi, welcome. I'm glad you stopped by. I'm, I'm going to be closing up here soon, but go to Walmart. They have jewelry boxes. They have the bracelet size in a small square. Wait, what? Go to Walmart. They have jewelry boxes. They have the bracelet size and the small square. For what? Hey, you're an overhook. Hi, Tammy. What are we chatting about tonight? We we were doing a retro night. We went through a bunch of pictures. You wanna you if you're interested in retro stuff, you'll wanna maybe check the replay. We've been around for two and a half hours though. <laughs> I don't need you to send me anything. Text is just perfect. I know, Tammy, my love. I'm happy with anything type of person. Awesome, Barb. Yes, ma'am, that would be plenty for me. Thank you, Teresa. I was thinking about making myself stitch markers. I don't have any. Sorry, Miley, she's being a PNN brat and not listening. <laughs> oh, you mean to store the stitch markers? I thought you meant to send. I was like, why? That wouldn't, I don't know that that would work in a small square. But, um, uh, Okay, sorry. Um, I have like, where where are they? I have it. Hold on, hold on a second. Don't go anywhere. Oh, for crying out loud! I'm sitting too long. Ow, ow, ow! Oh, 
is this? <laughs> oh, I'm so sorry for the massive earthquake. I lost my my footing with my hip. Sorry about that. Sorry, I'm oh, okay. I read that to ship this small square. Oh, I get what you're saying. I know, but then that that'll bring the shipping even more. It would make the shipping even more because then I'd actually have to put in a padded envelope. I don't know. I'll check it out. That would probably charge a lot more even for a small box. Shipping is stupid expensive. Yeah, exactly. Um, but like I have my, my, um, I was going to say my wrench set. Really? My pliers. Uh-uh. No, ma'am. Do not do that to the sheets. No. Lay down. Um, and then this has like the eye pins and the, um, the lobster claw clasps and the um, lever backs, not lever backs. Oh my gosh, I can't think today. Um, and the jump rings and stuff. I have all that in here. And I, I use, I'm going to say 98% of this, other than these lobster claw clasps, which, you know, these, the bigger ones, and all of this has, they're, some of it is sterling silver and some of it has a very high silver content or um, a high silver content. Um, these were like little inexpensive ones, but I don't really like using them because they're the small uh, lobster clasps, last lobster claw clasps, and they just get too caught up and stuff. But um, I do spend a little bit more on that because I just prefer stuff that should last longer. And then, uh, you're funny, Leanne. Um, where did you get that storage? Where did you find the hardware for jewelry making? And where did you get the pliers? Uh, everything, everything I have here I got from Michael's. This was a set that came from Michael's. I actually have a uh, separate, There's I have a fourth pli set of pliers um, that is a, a, like a full size. These are kind of smaller ones and it's got the little grippy tool thing. And, uh, it has like a gauge thing on it and where you can kind of put the beads and stuff. It's got three pliers, one bead board, one tweezer, one cutter, one storage box. I want to say this was like $10.99 or $11.99 at Michael's, but of course I always use a coupon. Um, this storage thing I got at Michael's, and then all of the stuff I got at Michael's as well. Uh, these are the long, the longer eye pins and uh, the ones that have the little loop thing in it. I don't know the technical term, so sorry about it. And then these are the, the shorter ones and then the little ones, and then the jump rings. These are the lever backs and these are the lobster claw clasps. Um, and then this case I got at Michael's also with, and it came with these, uh, oops. It came with these guys, uh, two of them. Okay, I have some stitch markers in here that I'm sending to somebody in a yarn swap that I'm doing so I don't want to show them but um two of them have this one bigger container and then the rest of them are these small ones but like these are all my Swarovski crystals that I use in them and then I've got other like beads these are Swarovski crystals and the crystals um and then a couple other different beads and stuff so I just and, like, these beads right here, they're not Swarovski. Um, Swarovski, they're, they were actually a bracelet that I just cut and I just used the beads. Um, but every all of this I got from Michael's. And, of course, I always get everything when it's on sale. Even the Swarovski crystals, I always wait until they're 60% off. And then if they happen to have a 20% off everything, including clearance or markdown items and stuff, that's when I really jump on the Swarovski because it's really hard to find 
reputable either wholesalers or places online that actually yeah it's it's not easy so and i really love i'm all about real glitzy bling and swarovski is one of my favorite i used to be a collector of theirs years ago um and I need to start actually posting my, um, all of the stitch markers that I have made, I've either given away as um, subscriber of the week ones or in giveaways, I'll add one here or there, or I've sent them to some friends and stuff. But uh, I do enjoy making them. They can be a little fidgety at times, um, but I like getting them blingy. And I really would love to show you three of them, but I can't right now. Actually, I may have one that's mine that I can go find really quick. Uh, which department for the storage? Um, in my Michaels, the storage was actually around the beads. The, the You know where they have the section where they have the color-coded back, like um, cardboards that have the beads hanging off of them? Like on the bottom shelf is... and kind of where the glitter is and the rest of the, yeah, the, basically in the bead section is where I got all of the eye pins and the jump rings and that kind of stuff. And they have a, a section that is like, I forget if they have some that are sterling silver and then they have some that are like a higher, so like higher quality ones. Um, and the pliers were in that same section. Um, or the plier set was in the same section and the storage bins were all on, like on the bottom, like the very bottom uh, shelf near the beads. <clears throat> yeah. All of that was in that area. Um, I am trying to update my sewing room and now I know what to use. Oh, cool. I was thinking about buying jewelry supplies from AliExpress. Yeah. I, I know several people that do get it from there. I would love to have a set of stitch markers with the letters on and I will pay you for them in shipping. Please contact me. Actually, go ahead and email me, Sylvia. Um, uh, uh, my email address is in the description box below, but it's natalies, N-A-T-A-L-I-E-S dot closet, C-L-O-S-E-T at yahoo.com. Email me and um, let me know what it is that you were wanting. Never had any fancy pretty stitch markers, just the cheap plastic ones. Aw, yeah, that's what I bought are the plastic ones. I got them on Amazon. Like two, I don't know if you follow Krista at The Secret Yarnery, but um, she's the one that um, shared. The, actually, I think I have the link in the description box below. I have all my Amazon affiliate links in the description box. And I think I have the stitch markers that I got, but it's like two sets, kind of sort of like a in a, well, in a divider thing like this, but there's like, I forget how many, like, I think thousands of them or something. I don't know. But um, I do have my Amazon affiliate links in the uh, description box below. If you don't know how they work, if you click on the link, you don't have to purchase, uh, regardless if it's on my channel or anybody's channel that has Amazon links. If you click on the link, you don't have to purchase what is on that link. Like, if you click it and you go to the stitch markers, you don't have to buy the stitch markers in order for me to get credit for it. If you click that link, anything you purchase within the, clicking and opening that link within a 24 hour period, anything you purchase, whether you purchase stitch markers or a winder or a mattress or a TV or whatever it is that you purchase on Amazon from that link, I would get a small percentage of. It costs you nothing more. You can go directly to Amazon, look up the same thing. It'll be the same price. I just may get a small percentage, like one, two percent of whatever the you you ordered, which helps kind of offset my expense for stuff that I do and, and show and buy or send or whatever the case is. And the same goes for any of the, your channel, your favorite channel creators. But um, but I'm sorry you've never had any fancy pretty stitch markers. Um, Yarn Overhook, what is your name? I like to refer to people by name, um, and I'd love to add you to my list. And if you would ever be interested in being put onto my mailing list, I have a very long mailing list of YouTube creators and subscribers 
that I have for my Christmas list for Christmas cards. But I also have it so that as I get to know you, if I see a card or a postcard or something that reminds me of you, I can send you a little note without actually asking you what is your address and then you know something's coming. I like to be able to surprise people. So if you're ever interested in being added to my mailing list, just email me your address. It stays safe. It's in my handy dandy notebook. It goes nowhere. I don't share with anybody, but it's just something for me to be able to have. <clears throat> just as an FYI. Um, I enjoy making them too when I have time. I like designing them. Yeah, I know. Me too, Tammy. Okay, thank you. What are you thanking me for, Teresa? <laughs> Sorry, I already forgot. I have plastic stitch markers. Love Krista. Yeah, I know. I love Krista too. Um, I have to finish editing a video, then go to sleep. So, okay, Frank, thanks so much for stopping by. I appreciate it. Hi to Tina and the kids. Love, hugs, and prayers. Stay safe and healthy. And again, thank you so much for stopping by. I really do appreciate it. You know I do. Everyone, I'm going to say goodnight. Okay, Melody, thanks so much. Have a great night. I appreciate your support, and thanks for sticking around, and good luck on the giveaways. I forgot about that also. I mean, on the uh, Christmas in July uh, giveaways. Uh, love, hugs, and prayers. I really do appreciate you. Thank you so much. I have a lot of different beads for stitch markers and jewelry. I need to go try and see if I can grab mine because I love mine really quick. Love you too, Frank. Thanks. And again, good night to Tina too. Love her. Um, have a blessed evening. Anita was here last week. Anita. Oh, right. You were. Why? Oh, you know what? I didn't update my list. I'm going to take a picture just in case again, but I know I have it. Anita, I am so sorry. I am so bad. I, I really apologize. Hey, Sherry, welcome. New to your channel. I want to know more about your products. Catch the end later. Night, night to you and your fur baby. Thank you so much, Sherry. I appreciate the support. Thanks for stopping by and for subscribing. I hope you stick around. Love, hugs, and prayers to you. That is so sweet. What's so sweet, Christina? What'd I say? <laughs> I'm sorry. <laughs> um, Frank, okay. I'm taking a picture of your emails. Can you take them off? I don't like having emails on here because, I mean, I know it's on your channel, but uh, Night Frank and please tell Tina for me too. Night Sherry, oh, it's okay. Lots of names to remember. I know. Well, I have my handy dandy sheet. I actually finally typed it out in alphabetical. The, all the channel names are in alphabetical order, but I forgot to add several names. Now I have to go look all the pictures up and add them. I'm so bad. I just jumped in and have been lurking. Oh, okay. <laughs> Thanks, Cynthia. Thanks, Frank, for taking them off. It's just for your safety. I will, Tammy. You have a great night, too. The card thing. Oh, yeah, I love sending cards. I actually just bought a bunch of more from a local boutique. I love supporting small businesses. It's my passion since I have one myself. Um, but I, I picked up on, uh, several other cards. But I love being able to just send a quick note, if, especially if it's a thank you or congratulations or whatever. But my Christmas list has grown. I think I have about 100 people on my list now, roughly. Um, so yeah, if you're interested in being on my mailing list, again, the addresses are safe. I don't share them with anybody. I don't do anything with them until I send something, but just email me at natalies.closet at yahoo.com. I'll add you to my list. I've actually just recently got several name of uh, several emails to be added. So, um, but thank you, Christine. I really appreciate that. Well, I got to run hugs and loves toodles for now. Bye Teresa. Thank you so much for your support. I really do appreciate it. Love hugs and prayers. Please stay safe and healthy. And I will see you soon. Um, good luck if you've entered any of the Christmas in July fairy videos. Okay, thank you, Nitrisa. Okay, don't go anywhere, anybody that's still here. I'll be right back. Oh, for the love of everything. Ow. But I will have to use the restroom soon, so I will say goodnight in a minute. But um, <clears throat> this one I made for someone. I just haven't sent it out yet, and she does not follow my lives, I don't think. But uh, these are all Swarovski crystals up here. But that's one of the ones that I made. Um, this one is mine. I'm actually going to change it to the lever back. I don't know why I did the um, lobster claw. But I'm I'm very much into blingy, sparkly. The more bling, the better. Um, I if 
any of you have seen my project, my personalized project bag, it's blinged out like crazy. Um, Synth oh, you won one of mine. I forgot about that. Yay, congratulations, Cynthia King. Thanks. Uh, wait, you won. I'm so confused. I'm so tired. I can't even think straight. I know it brightens my day to happy. Me exactly. It really does. And especially when somebody, when you're not expecting it and somebody has thought about you. I mean, heck, even Emmy, she sent me that coloring book. She went, I mean, she got a mailing envelope that had a French bulldog on it. Um, she knew stuff. She found out things that I'm interested or that I like or wouldn't be offended by or whatever. She took, you know, she put the time. She got that, um, you know, and just when people, and I'm not talking about stuff. I don't expect anybody or ask anybody to send me stuff, but even a card or postcards. I do ask that I put a call out for postcards from around the world that I would accept any time. That's I I'm, I'm trying to collect them from around the world, but just to get a card from somebody knowing that they thought of you, I, I, that that's like, it's the most amazing feeling. I mean, it just really warms your heart. And I, you know, I squeal at my post, my PO box when I go and open it and there's happy mail. I mean, even the guys behind the counter already know when they hear somebody squeal, it's me. That's how loud I am because it's like not that close from the counter when they're busy, especially to my PO box. But <laughs> um, I didn't realize they could hear me until one of the guys, when I squealed, when he brought something from the back and I squealed, he's like, you're the one that's always squealing. I'm like, yep, that's me. Um, I know. Uh, oh, nice. Cool. It's a really pretty stitch marker. No, I won Noni Mae's Fairy Draw. Oh, congratulations, Cynthia. And congratulations on getting into the being one of the semifinalists. Congratulations, Cynthia, on your Christmas in July. You know, how cool. Thank you. I was so excited. This is mine that I made. And it's got the Swarovski crystals up here. And then the little shoe because of the bling. I am, like I said, I am all about the bling. And blue is my number one favorite color, but pink and purple are like tied right up there with well, just under blue, like so smidge away from blue. It might as well be all the same. But but I loved the bling on the shoe and the shoe is just so cute. And then on this side, it's got a little bow with a stone on it. So um, I'm all about the bling. I, I These are the types of stitch markers that I typically make. They don't always have that many crystals on top or it'll be mixed in with other stone, you know, um, charms or beads or whatever. But I love designing them and, and I try to make them as light as possible, but I love blinging them out. Um, thank you, I was so excited. They already started fairy dress. Noni made is the only one that has done a draw and it was before midnight, which technically isn't when it was supposed to be drawn, but I'm excited for you, Cynthia. Congratulations. That's awesome. But there are people that are doing the drawing at 12 AM in their time zone, whenever that may be, uh, which for me would be like now if I were to do it, but I'm waiting until 9 AM Eastern technically today to do my drawing. Some are doing it in the evening, but at some point on the 15th, when it's the, on the 15th for them at some point during the day is when they're doing their drawing. Um, thank you, Cynthia. Uh, thanks. That shoe looks painful. <laughs> I know it doesn't it. Rosalie did hers too. Oh, that's interesting. Um, I don't know. See, the thing is, is if you told people when you're doing your drawing, when you did your video, I think that's when it's supposed to be stuck by. Like I originally said, I, I think I originally said like 10 p 10 a.m. Eastern, but I'm doing it an hour earlier. But to make massive changes because you also are then closing off people from allowing them to enter, which, you know, depending on the time zone, but it is what it is. People get to do their drawings the way they want to do them. So yeah. 
Um, I think there's a problem with my account. Don't think my subs are showing up for people, even though it's set to public. I've gotten up trying to fix it. I've given up trying to fix it. You're saying people can't see that you are subscribed to them or you, so your account is, even though it's saying your account is public, um, because I know that you can change like your, your, um, playlists and you can change your, um, subscription, you know, <clears throat> your subscriber, like your subscriber, um, Oh my God, you know what I'm talking about. You can turn either one of them off, but I think there's an overall one also that if it's set to off, you shouldn't then be able to change them individually. But I don't know. YouTube has been really funky with certain things lately. So I don't know. There are a few been drawn now. It's, it must be ticking over to the 15th and some time zones. It is on the east Eastern, in the Eastern time zone, it's 12, 18 a.m., but the people that drew when they did draw was before midnight. Um, but I don't know. I, I'm not getting in the middle of it. I know when I'm doing mine and when I'm going to post my video. Well, I don't know what when, what time exactly it's going to be that I post my video. I just know it's going to be before midnight tomorrow or to Wednesday today for me. <laughs> it's going to be before midnight Eastern that I'll post the video. I mean, it'll be earlier than that, but I can't guarantee what time exactly. Um, <clears throat> sorry guys, I'm all froggy, but, um, yeah, so anyway, so that's, these are a sample of some of my stitch markers. There were several, um, subscribers of the weeks that got stitch markers from me as well. I have three here. I would show them to you, except that I want to wait until she actually gets it in the yarn swap, which isn't going to be until August, but, um, I don't want her to see it when she watches the replay. So, um, although I guess she wouldn't necessarily know they were for her, but I, you know, I, I want to keep them a surprise. You'll be able to sit when you, I only have one yarn swap that's getting, that's set up right now. And once I let you guys know when it is, once we've, you know, decided the exact date we're doing the shipping, you'll then be able to watch her video and you'll see my stitch markers with her, <laughs> but I will let you guys know who it is. I'm doing yarn swap with once we, iron out the shipping days. Um, and like I said, you can go ahead and watch her video to see my stitch markers if you want. Um, thank you, Leanne. I appreciate that. So anyway, I am going to get going. I do have to use the restroom. Um, plus I still have to work on a couple projects so that I actually have something to show tomorrow as well as I'm going to talk about the subscriber of the week. Um, but I do really want to have, I just haven't, I know I haven't had time to really crochet much, but with, the issues I've been having with my hip, it's just hasn't, it really hasn't been possible, but I am going to work on some stuff tonight for tomorrow. And I have a bunch of other stuff to do. So I will see you guys soon. Thank you so, so, so incredibly much for all of your support, for all of your continued love, hugs, and prayers. It means the world to me and to her and to my mom. Thank you so very much. If you haven't subscribed to my kitchen channel, I would love it if you would do so. The link is in the description box below. It's Natalie and Moms with an apostrophe S, Natalie and Moms Kitchen. Uh, I'd love it if you join us over there as well. We have recipes on there that we've made. Uh, which Right now we've been making things pretty easy and we're going to just build up into more in-depth recipes. But uh, if you're new to my channel and you're still on here watching this, I would love it if you hit the subscribe button down below as well as notification bell and set it to all. Uh, and if you'd give this video a thumbs up, I would really appreciate that as well as comment and share. That would be awesome. Uh, I appreciate everybody so incredibly much. You guys are all in my prayers all the time. I send you my love, hugs, and prayers as well. Please stay safe and healthy. Uh, my video schedules are Monday, Wednesday, Fridays. I do a new series on Mondays, um, Did You Know? I've only had one out because I missed yesterday, but it's Did You Know? Uh, Wednesdays are typically whips and or anything else that there may be that I want to talk to you guys about. Friday is my Getting to Know You series. And then I do my lives on Tuesday night at 9.30 p.m. Eastern, unless I'm able to st um, hop on over the weekend ever. Uh, so that's my video schedule. Um, I am doing the PP dance, seriously. 
Uh, night, everyone, with 160-ish winners' videos, we would all like to see spreading them out is probably a good thing. I agree. I will try to keep um, a playlist running in my winner video that I'll keep updated as new videos come out. Uh, and I'm sure Dana's going to do the same thing. Uh, we've both had the most updated playlists. She included all the update videos in her playlist. Mine is strictly fairy videos, um, original fairy videos, no updates. So um, I will try to keep the winner video playlist up to date as well. And we are going to try to keep them as short as possible. The only thing is, is when you make it, there's a lot that goes into running a channel. And if you actually pay attention to your analytics and you try to keep things at certain levels, you really need to keep videos at a certain time length. But um, we're going to try to keep them as short as possible since there are so many videos to watch. But um, good luck to everybody that has entered uh, and good luck to whoever's going to win my giveaway tomorrow. I may surprise people and pick maybe two other winners. The first person that I pick will be the one that will end up going to um, Dana once I confirm that they are a subscriber to my channel and that they are as legitimate as I can possibly confirm. That name will be the one that goes to Dana um, as the semifinalist, but I may decide to pick one or two other people just to send them something small, but I'll include that in my winner video if I do decide to do that. Um, have a blessed evening, everyone. Night, everyone. Please hit the thumbs up before you leave. Thank you. Thanks, Tina. I appreciate uh, Tina. Tammy, I appreciate that. Night, everyone. Please ensure you did hit that thumbs up and subscribe to Hugs All. Thanks, Leanne. I appreciate it. Night, night, Leanne Brett. Good night to the Brat Pack. Good night to everybody else. Miley says good night to her peeps. And she's being silly and upside down right now. Oh, sorry. This big pillow is over here in the way. But uh, what is the time frame do the winners have to confirm just in case my entries aren't invalid? So many videos to watch. Um, I don't know what everybody is putting down. I'm saying five days for my winner to get back to me with their address and everything for my giveaway. Um, as long as we can confirm that the person's a subscriber and as legitimate as possible, we're going to just go ahead and send the winner's name to Dana. They're going to go into that drawing. And then at that point, she's going to try to follow up to make sure people are as legitimate and real as possible. And then on the 25th, she's going to go ahead and do her drawing. I don't know what time frame she's going to give people or the finalists to win or to contact her, but I'm doing five days for my winner to get to me, for me to be able to send them my prize. If I don't hear from them in five days, then I will repick another person. But um, that's as far as I know. You may want to check with Dana at Wanderlust Crochet to see if she has any other specific details. But um, all right, I really got to go. go. Uh, and I did not plan on this being a three hour live. So I love you guys. Remember for every season, there's a reason to crochet. You will see two videos from me tomorrow. Um, I hope you enjoyed this live with all the um, retro uh, stuff. So I love you guys dearly. Love hugs and prayers as always. Miley says bye to her peeps. My mom said to say hello and goodbye to you guys as well. I'll see you tomorrow. And thank you for everybody that was here for their first time. I really do appreciate it. Um, and I hope everybody sticks around after the drawing too. That would, that would mean a lot to me that you guys are all very awesome and I've gotten to know many of you. So I'm hoping that's the case. Thanks. Glad I caught you for, uh, yeah, I'm glad, I'm glad you caught me too. I, I really do. I, it was fun and I'm glad you were here. Loops, great afternoon and blessed evening. My Leanne, the brown nosing brat. Love you too. Hugs. Good night. Say goodbye already. You're in pain. Rest that hip. I know, I know, I know. I will. Hey, Adele, I love you. Well, I love everybody, but Adele is not feeling well. Prayers to her. Well, prayers to everybody, but she's really suffering right now. Um, so prayers to her that she feels better soon and, and deal, is able to deal with what she's going going through. So love you guys. I really do. You guys know I do a 10-minute goodbye, so you guys aren't surprised. Um, I love you guys. I'll see you guys soon. You'll see me tomorrow. I'll see you either over the weekend or on Tuesday or in somebody else's live. Thank you, Kathy, for that. Okay, she at least...
turn in this direction. Her eyes are closed, but she says, bye, bye, my peeps. I'm not going to make her get up and wave to you. Sorry. Um, all right. Love you guys. Stay safe and healthy. Love hugs and prayers to you. And thank you for everything. You guys are very sincerely amazing. I really do think I have the best community out there. But I'm a little biased. Just a little bit. Ten minute goodbye has turned into three minutes. <laughs> Shh. Love you too. All right. Love you guys. Bye.